Hey, we got to say hi to Otto. Hi, gentlemen. Hi, and, Opie. And, hello, Otto. Good and, evening. Hi, Jimmy. And for the new listeners, of course, the puppet, George. Ah, it's too early. I'd like to crack your skulls open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is a little uh, feisty this early in the oh, morning. It was, early. it was an early day today. Yeah. yeah. God bless you for having us on. Dude, it's, every day I got to deal with getting up at 5.15. It stinks. Yeah, it's, really? It's just not a comedian's lifestyle. Yeah, we we were listening. We thought you weren't even on the show. You're, you're like quiet for the first hour, right? Sometimes, yeah. Get... Jimmy goes into hibernation just to try to uh, get some more energy yeah. from his sleepless night of hookers and comedy. Yeah, yeah. to wipe away <laughs> the sleepies and the shame of what I did. <laughs> that was a great Tony Danza, by the way. I was... Oh, wait, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, there. Hey, thoughts and prayers to you. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was the king, and, and, and I, I can't even take credit for it. It was the, um, the soup on E, uh, Joel McHale's show, when he, he did uh, trans, uh, Danzitions. Yeah. And it was a segment where he would take Tony Dan Danza doing his uh, monologue during right. his show uh -huh. and the awful transitions he would do. Uh -huh. He'd be like, I was out last night. I saw one of the best ukulele players <laughs> ever. And I mean, a ukulele is not an instrument that a lot of people play these days, but uh, it, was, it was some of the best ukulele playing I've ever seen. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers to Bruno Kirby, dead today at 57. <laughs> uh, you know, a great, great uh, actor, uh, wonderful person. Uh, I met him once, uh, uh, fantastic. My daughter got an A on a test. Uh, I, I'm very proud. Oh, another... Um, Danzitions. Um, Bruno Kirby movie, uh, Modern Romance with Albert Brooks. He's great in that one. Too. Modern Romance. Romance. Yeah. Didn't see that one. Yeah, it was like Albert Brooks' second movie. He was one of those guys, Bruno Kirby. You just knew him. Yeah. You know, every he, movie. He freshman, he was great. He was that. really good in, in just about everything he was in. Yeah. yeah. What did he die from? Like, Leukemia. Yeah. Le Leukemia. Yeah. 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 Most yeah. people didn't know his name, though. It was like J.T. Walsh or guys like that. Like, yeah. That guy's fantastic. Yeah. Too. I know. He's yeah. seen yeah. him everything, and you're like, who is that guy? And you yeah. don't, you know. And Sling Blade. Oh, what a creep. Oh, yeah. Was he a pedophile? What a creep he was in that. He was a naughty yeah, one. Yeah, what about that boy? Why don't you <laughs> tell me? Don't mention that boy. Uh, I was going Great. to see that um, World Trade Center with my girlfriend Trish, and, and we, we decided it's too depressing. We went to see that yeah. Will Ferrell movie. <laughs> Man, was that a Abysmal. Bad. Really? You didn't like that oh, one? God, I felt like I got ass raped by Will Ferrell and he sucked $20 out of my colon with his penis. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, and, and, and Ali G. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Guys, I'm killing me. Uh, yeah, you are killing <laughs> And Ali G guy's in it. He's funny. These are funny guys. Yeah. The movie had no pulse. It sucked. Really? It, it was like... Will Ferrell was so unfunny. It was like uh, McMurphy after the lobotomy. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that level of it was just really bad. <laughs> product placement after product placement. It was just that's disgusting. what it's all about. That's, yeah, that's man. what they do now. So they're making up for all the lost revenue. Yep. Uh, yeah, people yep. not going to the film. Yeah, anymore. and on the way home, I rented the best of Will Ferrell just to see him do James Lipton. I was almost in tears. At yeah. The Took a guy this talented and gave him nothing to work with, you know? Really stuck. But money hand over fist that movie made. Yeah, the yeah. movie's still... It's, it's uh, doing fine. He's still doing well at the box office. He's making quite the uh, income. Well, you didn't want to see... Uh, are you ever going to see the World Trade Center movie or no? Yeah, probably on cable. I mean, I yeah. love Oliver Stone. He's the right director for that that topic, too. He loves that grim, depressing stuff. You know? I don't want to see that stuff in the theater. Yeah, I kind of want to be in the privacy of my own home. Yeah, all weepy. You know, just here. in case I get a little weepy. <laughs> you know, if there's anything going to get you a little weepy, it's yeah. that subject matter. So I, I want to sit there in the theater walking out. Someone asks you, how was the movie? And you go, good <laughs> shit. You can't control the way you talk. Yeah. I like yeah. that. <laughs> I was saying, I, I'm sorry, man. I, I like to watch. Uh, I, I saw Flight 93. It was one of the best films I've seen in a long really? time. Yeah, it's perfectly acted. Yeah, perfectly acted. I'm like, this is, you don't think you're watching any acting? And really? The guys were actually real controllers and stuff like that. They put in the movie. With so snakes well. on the plane? Well, oh God, how awful is that? Like, oh God, I think that right. I think that movie's gonna do well, man. Oh yeah. well, it'll probably make a lot. Oh of money. God! I was talking about this the <laughs> other day. I think it's like the new Jaws. Like they've been trying to figure out, besides the obvious. You know how to scare the, the yeah. crap out of people that fly. Because it's a, you know I know the terrorist thing, yes, but we, in general most of us feel like we have that under control. In my opinion, anyway. You know, it, but yeah. now they came up with this new concept, like what snakes on a plane? The trailers I've seen though, it's Jules from Pulp Fiction on the plane. Yeah, it should be <laughs> Jules Pitt on the plane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that's what it is. Snakes on the mother <laughs> plane. I'm gonna walk the earth and eat my brand muffin. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. You're going to be a bum, Jules. Yeah. They've been, they've been talking about that movie for a really long time, so yeah. hopefully it's all right.
Yeah, because it's a contained in- environment. You can't get out can't of leave. and stuff. Yeah. Right, right, right. It's you would think the first sign of a snake, though, uh, perhaps they would uh, land yeah. the plane somewhere. Yeah, land. Quickly land, land. Everyone gets out. Everything's fine. Why? <laughs> Movie over. Ten minutes. And of, of course, they probably have to go from L.A. to New York. It's got to be a long yeah. flight. Long flight. I can't believe I'm in the studio. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait, Otto, what's going on over Otto's there? Otto's got some of his buddies so in. thrilled to be here. If, if they had to sit on the windowsill of the Chrysler building outside <laughs> in the rain, they would have still like, signed on. He took a day off from work, Holly. Don't pick on us. Oh, okay. <laughs> Holly and that young, strapping Rutger Hauer boy she has with her. <laughs> Got a white hair, very tussleable. Yeah, Otto brought some friends. <laughs> hey, Otto's playing <laughs> Mr. Joshua from Lethal Weapon. Oh, how perfect. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, <laughs> your arm, please. The most, the most overacted scene ever by the cur- You give me your arm, Mr. Joshua. <laughs> who is that? Uh, <laughs> buddy, you guys play Buddy Holly? No. Yeah, yeah. That's Gary who was Busey? Mr. Yeah, that Joshua. Was Joshua. Yeah, oh, Gary Busey. The, the guy who overacted was the guy yeah. who played the colonel. Oh. And the guy's going, uh, where'd you get him from? Wackos or us? Which is oh. such a bad 80s line. Oh. <laughs> he goes, your arm, Mr. Joshua, please, your arm. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Hello, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we we got to make sure everyone knows that Otto is going to be playing the uh, Opie and Anthony traveling virus. I have you alone to thank for that. You you made it happen with one phone call. You're this welcome. guy was working on the Peter Laurie impression, <laughs> and Norton was emailing a hooker, but you made it happen. It Good you. evening. And, and stupid me, I'm like, Otto, I didn't, we didn't know you really wanted to be part of this. And what did um, you yeah. say? To work with all those great comics, so, you know, all them talented guys. Yeah, and Rich Sports. Yeah, he'll be there, too. <laughs> You're like, no, I wanted to play Pips for the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> That's our low self-esteem as a show, though. We're like, who wants to be involved with this? Yeah, yeah. I really... Wow. I really was like, I don't know if I don't want to be a part of this. I'm an idiot. But uh, I you're... don't enjoy the company of comedians, really. I mean, all this Who does? backstage sparring, it's really annoying. But I'm looking forward to killing on, on the stage there. Yeah. For your sick, low-grade audience. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'll do fine. It's Believe August 26th. Me. We're uh, 10 days out, I believe. 10 days out from the big show uh, presented by Bud Light, Always Worth It. You can get tickets through Ticketmaster.com. And all the info's up on Opie and Anthony.com. I the the record-breaking show. That's right. Record-breaking. I was embarrassed when Pete put out that uh, press release. I mean, uh, uh, you know, our, our comedian friends are great. They're uh-huh. all great in their own right. But right. you throw 30 of them together on one stage, of course we're going to beat Leno's record. Record-breaking. Shut up. Ask Otto. He's well, pretty honest. What's the Leno record? Well, here it is. Uh, the the ONA virus yeah. sold more tickets at the PNC than any other comedy uh, act uh, in the history, in the of, history the of the PNC. It's 39 years. Wow. Um, and the, the guy's record that we broke was Jay Leno. And Opie's saying, well, we got like 800 comics on the bill. Yeah. So uh, you know, it's easy to break the record. They all have a huge fan base. I mean... I never see comics advertised for there. It's always Steely Dan, Ringo Starr. The- <laughs> it is all star yeah. band. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, this show's got it's got Otto and George on it. It's got Voss, myself, Patrice, Bill Burr, uh, Carlos Mencia, Tracy Morgan. It's a great show. Bob yeah. Saget. It's going to be amazing. Oh, uh, I like. Tracy may Morgan. I say a laugh fest? Yeah. Ooh. The first show in Worcester was great. Uh, August 26, PNC Bank Art Center. That's going to be great as well. Presented by Bud Light. Always worth it. Wow. There you go. There's the second plug of the wow. day. <laughs> My Beautiful. God. What do you guys do? You just host like hand? Yeah, we just look silly. We yeah. host, we you know, go up between comics, come out, introduce a couple of the comics. Yeah, it's That's not our cool. thing. No, no. Although Ant did uh, Andrew Dice Gay. I do Andrew Dice Gay, and he did oh, kill. They made up the jacket he for did me. Kill. It says Dice Gay on the back, yeah. and yeah, it's uh, the sunglasses, and I, I come out and do uh, rhymes. <laughs> Where, where's That's my little? Kill. Where's my little sheet? Your sheet. I remember when you busted your lip open with the water. Oh, bottle. the water I bottle constantly. Great. I do it every time I uh, have to do the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and, and we make little cute videos, Otto. Oh yeah. We made like a shower rape video. Really? Yeah. That was cute. And yeah. It got a huge laugh. It's on uh, opianthony.com. Wow. Yeah. It's uh, it's me uh, cowering in a shower. In, in little Calvin Klein's. That's all I'm wearing. And just when you think it couldn't be more horrific. 
Well, should we give it away or should people? No. Yeah, but we've talked about it on the air. Okay. Uh, Jimmy comes walking in a frame completely nude. He's completely nude. <laughs> oh, and tell and he's yelling at Opie to just shut up and take it like a man. Wow. Yeah. Uh-huh. It got it got a huge laugh. Yeah, but, I did get a nice response. I have a very smooth, lovable ass. Though. You're gonna be impressed. Oh, with you. Oz, yeah. Oz wouldn't have aired that scene. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was that bad. Yeah. We'll bring that video to the PNC as well. We'll show the people that haven't seen it yet. Or you could go to opianthony.com. All right. We're also talking about Imus today. Uh, terrorists a little bit, uh, a racist senator. Uh, we have a new story. We love these stories. They prove that uh, there is no God. No. You keep believing out there, but there is no God. Did, did we ever really think there was? I... These uh, these stories come about from time to time, and you got to question. you got to question this God thing. What horrific thing happened to a decent person? <laughs> well, Because that's always, you know, nothing better than when those church br- buses are uh, driving down the thruway and a boulder that was sitting there for 18 gazillion years decides, that's the moment I'm going to roll down the hill and wipe out these church-going people. <laughs> right, after they're coming back from some retreat yeah. where they... T- where they, uh, I don't know, cured some rare disease yeah. and raised a billion dollars A rock hunger. that overlooked the plains <laughs> as dinosaurs right. were walking around decides, now I'm going to roll down the hill. Yeah. And and pick up this 710 split of a uh, of bus uh, full of religious people. Can we all agree that we love puppies? Yeah. yeah puppies, puppies Can we? Uh, are my and, only soft spot. You yeah. love puppies. You love the I, the, uh, oh. the puggles. Little puggles. The uh, cuteness meter pegs out into the red. You can almost explode your cuteness transmission just looking at one. And then the other day, we're doing the walk uh, back, and a little beagle was crossing <laughs> the street with those floppy ears yeah. and the little eyes that are... They look like they're painted by that artist that paints the sad little oh, yeah. eyes yeah, yeah. with the little glimmer in the side. Just adorable. I got to look. And, uh, yeah, just cute. That's the only way to describe Hitler the little loved guys. Puppies too. Hitler loved puppies. Come on. Yeah, I, I was the gonna... most evil guy in the world. Yeah. I believe puppies. <laughs> I believe even Muslims love puppies. Well, now slow yeah, down. No. Before I dessert, they eat them. <laughs> yeah. Put explosives in them. Yeah. Set them loose. And we all know the Koreans really love puppies. Mm. Yeah. Well, Panda block. You ever see what the Germans do with them on film? Very impressive. <laughs> oh, God. oh, what breath she must have after that. <laughs> oh, jeez. <Jesus. laughs> well, yeah. uh... Dogs can feel... <laughs> Legs are propped up. So in general, we could agree we all love puppies. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we got a little story about puppies that proves maybe, uh, maybe, well, maybe God's just busy. Maybe he was tied up doing something else. Yeah, maybe he got stuck at work. Or Appointment something. book was full. Or maybe he was on vacation in the in the Caribbean or the something. The wife called. What happened? Uh, well, listen to this. From what we can tell from the driver, he was notified via the radio from another trucker. that There's smoke coming out the back of the, the rig. He pulled over at that time and attempted to go in with a fire extinguisher. But when he opened the doors, smoke, heat, and flames. And behind all that, around 60 puppies, all in oh, cages God. with nowhere to go and no air to breathe. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. No survivors. Even for these guys who've seen a lot, this was disturbing. We don't like to see any loss of life, you know, whether it's uh, dogs, cats. Uh, yeah. Yep, we don't like it. Those with the Lowell Humane Society are stunned by such a huge loss of life. What a demise on a highway in a fire. It's just, it's devastating news. As it turns out, this company is one of the largest puppy brokers in the U.S. Mm. Apparently what they do is they buy the dogs from commercial breeders and ship them off to pet stores across the country. Fire officials say in transport, the puppies were given air conditioning. No word yet if that AC unit caused the fire. Uh, the driver right. of the truck not in the mood to what talk about What else could it have been? Happened. No, you need to let Puppy uh, smoking? Step back from me, please. But the shipping company, Hunt Corporation, did release a statement saying we are all puppy lovers and could have never imagined such a loss occurring. There you go. Do they have to say we are all puppy lovers? We're all puppy lovers. Like it was an act of cruelty. Well, I did think we got us a goddamn puppy lover. <laughs> hey, I, puppy lover. Did all, all the puppies died? Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. 60. Tragic. He slapped the puppy. The puppy slapped him back. I could have had you shot. <laughs> <laughs> and the only thing that runs on power back there is the air conditioning unit to keep them clear. We're not sure if it was the air conditioning unit 
that started the fire. <laughs> was it puppies rubbing together too quickly? <laughs> or one, yeah, smoking? Is there anything else that could start the fire back there? Puppy blew itself up. Trying to, yeah, trying to ex <laughs> escape. You know what it was? It was just a mistake. Yeah. A light blew or something. What a sad little story. Yeah. It just sucks. Imagine the poor guy that's got to pull 60 charred puppies out of the uh, got to count them out of the back of the truck. Yeah, how many? What do you got? 40. 46 40 puppies. Oh, really depressed. Seven the puppies. Yelping. The, in the oh, it must have just screen. sounded horrible when he oh. opened the door and realized he couldn't get to the uh, puppies. And yeah. Oh, you God. just hear them back there. Yeah, because they're all they're, they're so lovable when they're like in your hands. They just rely on you for everything, and then just to be yelping like that, and they know your face, and you're not rescuing them. Right. Yeah. Hey, um, and how come we never get upset about uh, this upset, and the story never really tugs at the heartstrings when a container truck full of illegal aliens is found baking in the desert somewhere? Because well, puppies don't cause, do home invasions. Yeah, because <laughs> we because we don't all like Ill illegal aliens. Yeah. We all love puppies. We all love yeah. puppies. We can yeah. all agree on that. Yeah. yeah. There's one person wants a puppy kicked out of this country. I don't call on my phone. This is dial one for English and two if you're a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jason from Rye doing a pat from Munaki. This is taking over the country. <laughs> Who doesn't like a hot dog? <laughs> it's a pet joke. But then you got the real Pat from Wenaki on instant feedback. It was uh, Arfwitz. <laughs> Arfwitz. Arfwitz. Oh, God, is that horrible. It was pretty, pretty bad. Uh, you got to call in with your jokes, though. They're much yeah. better when you do them. Right. How bad is it going to be, Sonny? Pretty goddamn bad. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, Shaky Mike from Virginia... God would have helped, but his girlfriend hurt her foot. <laughs> oh, oh, inside. Now you've had your drink. Now tell me what all the puppy lovers already seem to know. <laughs> they burn the puppies on the causeway. They're dead. <laughs> they burn the cup. Oh, all right, we should take a break. We got Otto and George in studio. Yeah. Uh, are we promoting anything else there, Otto? Vagina. Oh, where's that stupid piece of paper? Otto. Oh, I'm doing oh. this club in Philadelphia. Otto. 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 Philadelphians got to come out and see. Is it, is it the helium? Yeah, where is it? Uh, is the cabaret? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. Joe knows. Comedy cabaret when, sweetie? 15, 16. Uh, Shut up, Conti. I got it right 15, here. 15, 16. Ooh. Yeah, one show a night. Comedy cabaret at the Best Western. Please come down, Philadelphia, douchebags. What day? What day is tonight? No, no, September fifteenth. Oh, and September sixteenth. Yeah. Oh, and then the Gotham Comedy Club, September eighth at eleven o'clock. All right. Uh, well, website. Oh, MySpace, Otto and George, and I'm gonna have my own uh, OttoandGeorge.com soon. Thank nice. You. Oh, look at you. What is OttoandGeorge.com now? Someone else has it. I had it for a while, but I just neglected it and didn't give Craig my my dates and stuff. But I'm I'm getting it all together. I got I got a manager now, uh, Ben Carrizo. I asked him. I asked him to get me on a Jerry Lewis telethon, and he said, I couldn't get you on a telethon if you had the disease. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hurt me? Ben Carrizo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, what an embezzling name that sounds like. Yeah. Real shyster, right? <laughs> yeah. Ben Carrizo at 2 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. All right, we'll continue. It's the only virus spreading across America. <laughs> now we all know that Opie and Anthony Wow stickers are your tickets to a successful whip em out Wednesday. Well, yeah. Did you know that wow stickers have many other uses? I sliced out both my kidneys, and I patched up the wounds with wow stickers. But, but, dude, how do you pee? Oh, boy. Can't pee. This was incredibly nearsighted. Gotta go pee, can't go pee, gotta go pee, can't go pee, pee, pee dance, pee, pee, dance, gotta go pee. Opie and Anthony. The Opie and Anthony Show. Wow is alive and well on Pal Talk this morning on the Opie and Anthony oh, show. Oh, yeah. We got the Pal Talk cameras in studio. Gotta love it. If you got Pal Talk, uh, they're not even a sponsor. We just like what they do. We just like it's um, it's pretty inexpensive. Like, I pay for my own account. I don't even, you know, it's something like uh, $50 a year. If that's something like that, a year not, is it sixty dollars a year? We should have part of the company at this point. I know, really. We turned a lot of people onto Pal Talk, and oh. it's uh, you go to paltalk.com and you got to sign up and everything like that. But then you go to uh, uh, Opie and Anthony Live Room. That's where everybody hangs out. 
And uh, you, you'll see uh, cameras from the studio here. You'll see cameras from our listeners. And uh, you get to look in and listen in uh, when we go to break. I think we're the first radio show where we get to watch the listeners listen to us. Yeah. All of a sudden, you'll, you'll see them start laughing or something. It's really bizarre. And then you get beautiful girls that uh, flash us during commercial breaks and stuff. There, Here we go. Ah, oh, there she is. May I say, Marissa? Pal Talk thank is sponsoring you. Sponsoring the O and A Village and is going to be what, there. What? 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 Kenny? Pal Talk is a sponsor of the O and A Village and the Traveling Virus Show, and they're going to be there promoting themselves and signing people up and and telling everybody about Pal Talk. Could you lift the mic higher to your mouth instead of holding it and leaning into it? <laughs> Big dope. <laughs> he, it's, it's a flexible thing. And he lifts it par like chest height and then leans over like a creep. I'm big. <laughs> yeah, Pal Talks. Uh, it, it, all you got to do is buy a camera. Uh, well, I, I got a Logitech. A Logitech. Oh, you did? Yeah, good one. The type that you have right here. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, yeah these, are the, these are the good ones. You can control them, like make them go back and forth, up and down, remotely. Pan Dang. down and remove your face from the shot when you're completely abusing yourself on film. Yeah. You know, know what I like to do with another program that I have? Um, when I'm a on vacation, I got my laptop. I can uh, access my camera at home and turn it on. See if any, uh, really? you know, any riffraff is around my house. Wow! wow. Yeah, no matter where you are, you could get. And then what do you do? Hey, I Maybe don't know. Wa you watch him. Walk out. Hey, man, what's up? <laughs> no, don't take that. Oh, yeah. no. Hey, oh. hey, look, we're on the TV. <laughs> no, not the TV. Oh. You see him, and as he grabs right. for the computer, the camera just goes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you can the actually end up show. That's Did you ever hear those, yeah. those urban stories about a guy who went on vacation and they come back and then and, and then there's a um, on their videotape is a guy in the room with the toothbrush. Toothbrush. Yeah. yeah. You've heard those, right? Yeah, oh, I heard yeah. that urban legend. Wow. There's ones like that where uh, yeah, everything was stolen except the camera and the toothbrush. Yeah. And then uh, they got home, uh, developed the film. Yeah. And when the film came back, they saw the robbers and they had taken the toothbrush and put it uh, in a place in their body where you would not right. want a toothbrush. Yeah. Or that, <laughs> whatever, whatever they'll dump out of as I try to skate around it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's all right. No worries. I had that happen to me, actually, on a trip. Uh, no way. I absolutely did. And then I remember, oh, it? yeah, I'm the one that did that with the toothbrush. <laughs> that was me. And wow. It was, it was straight your own camera, out. your own place. That's right. Oh, Hired a tranny to videotape it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, straighten yourself out, Daddy. <laughs> So, uh, uh, Pal Talk, if you uh, you know, if you need proof that the girls wow for us, uh, get the Pal Talk cameras because on Wednesdays it's all about wowing. Yeah, baby uh, girl wears very sexy underpants. You, you like her baby? Uh, oh my God! She yeah. wears uh, boy shorts uh, or you something. You with the toothbrush and your rectum, him laughing at you. If you think I'm gonna let that happen to a nice girl like Trixie, you're nuts. <laughs> 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 Hey, I thought we'd go a can't home. treat Mo Green's toothbrush <laughs> like that. <laughs> uh, Tom, you're a dentist. You talk to him. <laughs> oh, man. I thought we could go a whole uh, show without making fun of Mike Woods. Oh, he did it again. Mike Woods is our favorite weather guy. He's right there on TV right now on Fox 5. Uh what what the news, especially the local news in whatever city you're in, does these days? Because they have to compete with um, Fox uh, Network News, you know, the uh, the national news and CNN. So they got to spice up their newscast. And what they're trying to do is not being such zombies and just reading teleprompters. Yeah. So the anchors talk to the sports guy, who talks to the weather guy, and they get these little impromptu, spontaneous. Yeah ad-libbing conversations going. Oh, Sometimes chummy. they're based on the story. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're all chummy. pals. Oh, uh, yeah. And this guy, Mike <laughs> Woods, that you're looking at right up there, the improv skills of a cinder block. <laughs> the black guy black. cannot, yeah. That he looks can, like half a rock. Yeah. yeah, everyone calls him, uh, it says he looks like the rock. Yeah. Only now, well, you know how big his fingers are? Do you have any idea what he oh. would do to your girlfriend if she wound up with him? Oh, forget about it. Stop. What? Wait. He's got long fingers. What does that mean? Um, it means he would do a lot of internal damage <laughs> with his fingers, or he, whatever. He could yeah, not even not just with his fingers. I think that might be a, re a reflection of other things, oh. right? Maybe how big his hands are. Oh God! So he just can't improv. If you got uh, one of these dummies in your city, by the way, we need tape. <laughs> one of these dummies. Send it in to Danny at FoundryMusic.com. dot com. Should uh, run for Senate. <laughs> yeah, and you could get well, <laughs> and we'll give you a prize for helping out the uh, radio Club show. Club Soda Ken has yeah. another announcement. Uh, God, there's a Tropicana truck outside. What should I do? <laughs> <laughs> 
stupid. <laughs> so you want to hear uh, the latest Mike oh, Woods, please? Sorry. Well, they were playing a game called Where Are We with Mike Woods. Oh, oh great. And basically they show a picture of a skyline, and Mike Woods has to guess where it is. Now they're making him, they're quizzing him. The guy can't even improv a question like, Mike, so what'd you do last night? Die, uh, me, die, uh, uh, my, uh, night time today now, did. <laughs> guy's a moron, and now they're going to quiz him. Oh, All right. Really? Well, here we go. All right, we are doing a, another one of, this is Mike Wood's favorite game. I said, Mike, we're going to play Where Is This Again with you. And he's like, so, oh, oh, no. Mentally tapped. You know what that means, Mike. We're going to do it all the time. I know it. I where is this? Dinner. And Tony is Hi. not allowed to chime in because she probably knows. Well, it kind of looks like Central Park West. No. Yes, it does kind of look like we're missing some buildings yeah, downtown. Yeah, missing some but, skyscrapers. But I, it could have been. <laughs> could have been, way but back it's not. When, but it's a live picture. Any idea? All right, but that I might building, know where it that is. That one tall building. Oh, yeah, I here's know. a clue. Tony might know where it is. And the park and might that, be close by. And you really? know what a park you have uh, over there. Oh, really? Because it's wicked like, awesome. Really? Mm -hmm. Boston-ish? Boston Perhaps. How about Boston, period? That's Boston, John Hancock that, building right there. Empty the Babble. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not completely inept. It only took 42 <laughs> clues. <laughs> they just want to be like New York. Yeah. That's what hey, I hey now. Oh, hey, hey. Simmer down. Simmer down, my boy. I had to go there. I had to go there. I know. Mike's a good guy, but, you know, when all is said and done, he's just a stupid. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Weatherman should shut up and just talk about the weather, you know, really. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much Remember that guy the deal with Mike. Tex Antoine. Remember Tex that? Antoine. Remember that, that story? He was the guy with the big uh, controversy because... Um, I don't remember. This he had a long time ago. Yeah, a long time ago, he had uh, gotten on and they had gotten uh, through this awful uh, news rape story. Yeah. And they went right to him with the weather and him trying to ad lib. He said, when it gets to that point, uh, the woman should just lay back and enjoy it. Right. And, ooh. Wow. That was. Oh, the letters. This was before email. You're fine. Yeah, the, the letters came went, a rolling in. The city went ballistic. Just on went him. crazy What's on him. New York? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he lost his job. He was like the job. most popular radio, uh, weather guy at that time. He used to have Uncle Wethby. Yeah. That cartoon character with the big light bulb head. I knew you head. would know that story. Oh. He man knows all this. I crap. used to sit in front of a television from the time I was three till last night. What year I mean, was that? I did till now still. Yeah. Till the time I was three? No, no, no. What year did Tex Antoine do that? Oh, God. That was... Uh, late 60s, maybe. Oh, okay. Early 70s. Yeah. Yeah. Great, real uh, smart thing to do. Yeah. You really th do you think the second it came out of his mouth, he went, oh, no, I'm fired? <laughs> like, Prob like yeah. oh, Jesus, that was not yeah, the, good, the right yeah. thing to say. And that was back before real political correctness. Uh, you could you could get away with a lot back then. He was then. in more trouble than the rapist at that point. You know? Yeah, yeah. Tex was worse than the rapist he was commenting on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, one more story we'll try to sneak in here. Oh, wow. This cute little story. <laughs> Is it cute? Ah, it's, it's adorable. All right. Ah, adorable. <laughs> it's, cute ah, it's chitons for you, see? <laughs> chitons. Ah, they're adorable. They're ah. adorable. <laughs> Wise guy, eh? <laughs> Give me that rod. <laughs> Would I throw a lighted match in here <laughs> if Rocky was in this stove? <laughs> Courageous You cat. might, Robert. You might. <laughs> like, you put me in this... Womb of an elevator. I was trying to sleep on the elevator. Nine-year-old Matthew uh -oh. Brogan has a developmental disorder, and though he has difficulty expressing himself, Matthew clearly describes the trauma of trying to escape from a timeout room. His parents say in reality, it was an elevator closet inside this Seaford Elementary School. I, I was trying to get your door open. So right away, um, we were very upset as parents, really upset, because a major component of, his, of Matthew's education is positive behavior reinforcement. Oh Roberta Grogan says back in November of last year, she was shocked when her son first told her about his experience. Three months later, Seaford school officials finally confirmed via letter that Matthew had been escorted to a timeout room three times for behavioral problems. 
and they say they did it with somebody in the room. Matthew tells me that that's not the case. In fact, he tells me that the door was closed, and oftentimes all the lights were not on. Um, so, you know, and there were monsters in there to, to try and get somebody to calm down. Family attorney Ken Boring. <laughs> Matthew sounds like a very bad boy. You know yes. what? We'll cut our losses. They're not all going to be gems. Matthew. That's a who cares story. He's quite a yeah. naughty boy. <laughs> he, need to he needed to be corrected. Yeah. When do you think maybe we should throw Matthew in the elevator closet? <laughs> a right nigga away. cook. <laughs> a nigga. Oh. All right. We'll cut our losses. There was uh. more to the story, but it wasn't going anywhere. We can be honest with ourselves there. Tomorrow, Fat Boy Slim stopping by... Uh, to hang out with us, and he's going to do the walk over to XM and hand out his uh, his latest CD, Fat Boy Slim's Greatest Hits. Otto and George, thank you so love much. You guys, absolutely. Thank you. You're going to join us at XM, I believe, for a little while, or you got to go home. To. I know, I'd love to. Thanks. All right, and Otto, Otto and George will be at the ONA Travel oh, Virus August 26th at the PNC Art Center. All the info's up on opianthony.com, as well as our new TV commercial. Hey, it's up, and uh, people are checking it out as we speak. Uh, go to opianthony.com to check that out. If you're not joining us over at XM, have a great day. Thanks for listening. Yeah, man. The Opie and Anthony XM walkover begins now. All right. We're outside Free FM in New York City. Beautiful day. Getting ready for the walkover. Otto and George joining us for the second half of the show on XM Satellite Radio. That's better. There you go. Now I have a microphone. I have my microphone. Otto's got a microphone. Well, it's not Otto, but you got a microphone. Oh. <laughs> why would it work? Why work. would it? Why, why, why? Your mother's cunt then. Is it working? <laughs> yeah, now it's Why, it why, now. why? There you go. All right, why don't we just walk? There we go. Jimmy's got some nice headphones on today. Hi, the Ollie. little buds I don't, don't like fit your buds. Hi, ears. Ollie. Dried up cunt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Isn't she your friend? <laughs> yeah, she is. That's yeah. sweet. She drove me in. Dry. No easy pass. She's too much of a hippie. <laughs> oh, no. You had to wait on the cash line? No easy pass. Who doesn't have easy pass? Oh. Why don't you have the easy pass, Get easy pass. Why don't you have the easy pass? Bill to pay. Another bill to pay. You're yep. ruining everything, Holly. Put it on my debit card. Don't you see any equity in Would the time spent in the cash line? Would you get me one, Anthony? No. Just taking pictures like crazy. But she could clean a half an ounce of pot on a record album in 25 minutes. No seeds. Clean. No marks. Clean as pot, pot, no stems, no seeds. I'm trying to talk to her on the radio, and she's just taking picture after picture. On a brain salad pot. surgery album yeah. cover from Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. This is not a library, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a library. <laughs> <laughs> Where's all the pretty women? Uh, at work already. Sucks. Hi, much cooler today. Hope you enjoy the blah blah blah. Yep. Hey, blah 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 blah. Where's Enjoying the a blah blah blah. Uh, what are you reading? The blah blah blah. Ah, uh, and Kenny, I'm gonna kick this nun in front of the taxi. Just get my back in case anybody tries to help her. Greetings, Andrew. That's Andrew. Very nice yeah, to help him, to sir. Very nice. Clam. How you doing there, uh, Andrew? I'm all right. Doing good today? Give me another day. I'm happy. Wow. Andrew, you got to, like, you got to wear a hat. This is the first time we're seeing you without a hat. Yeah, that's why I took off my hat for you guys today. Okay. Why? Why? Yeah, I say I wanted to show you my real self today. You have hair ah. like Norman Bates. <laughs> well, it's up for you guys. I just talked to God. He thinks you're an asshole. Oh, well, well, I, I God bless you, my friend. <laughs> You got another one today? Eat something. Here. It's the homeless fucking Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> <laughs> what, are the, what do the pennies indicate? Are the those crop circles? Uh, because that's my lodge. Your lunch? My lodge. Your, Your lord? 
L O R D. You ever heard of a speed stick? Yeah. Hola, hola, hola. Your Lord. All right, so Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ is my Lord. I was born that way. Carabicho. He's a demon puppet. Yeah, he's very evil. The power of Shent compels you. <laughs> the power of Shent compels you. Everywhere. God loves everybody. Oh, you're not his content. <laughs> you know, the power of Lord is the greatest power in the world. Really? You got to have that power of Lord, Daddy. I'm a huge Matt Damon fan. <laughs> <laughs> what is he talking about? <laughs> Andrew, you like the puppet? His name's George. George, the one who's swooping is Canal Street now. El Diablo. Boy George, who's swooping in Canal Street, doing a community service. I don't know what he's boy, talking about. Boy, does this guy about. need his shirt Martin Ice? He's fucked up today. <laughs> he's trying to make a Boy George uh, joke. Oh, I got George you. the puppet, oh, Boy, boy George. George. <laughs> wow, that was a hell of a stretch nice there. Nice tie-in. Boy George is doing community service. And we we heard you the first time, Andrew. Yeah. Are you fucked up today? Huh? Were you out drinking last hey, night? Hey, that is Texas. No, Antoine. I drank a couple of beers. <laughs> and then uh, I drink two beers. I'm high for two days. So did you have a couple what of beers? What is your heritage? Hispanic? I don't drink tomorrow. Cuban? Uh, once in a while. Yeah, where are you from originally? Biden. Where are you from originally? I'm originally from Goa, India. India. Goa, India. Wow. Yeah. Where are, don't don't you have a community? I mean, I thought Indian people took guys, care of each other. You must be guys, a real asshole. I want yeah. to ask you a question. Look, I'm wearing Hershey's T-shirt. How come they don't give me no royalties? Oh, because he's wearing a Hershey's T-shirt. That's a good question. He thinks because of advertising. Guys, right? Oh, all right. Sh I should be entitled for some royalties. The right? same reason you people charge two dollars for a roll of bounty. Fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Give you a royalty. <laughs> bounty, two dollars, my friend. All right, this is Andrew. <laughs> what do you think, Adam? Very nice guy, sweet soul. Yeah. Thank you, guys. God bless you all. God bless you, uh, Hello. Andrew. Love you all I don't have heart. anything smaller than. Uh, yeah. as I'm saying uh, Enjoy today, Central so Park. Not going to be able to uh, uh, stab a tourist when you get a chance. <laughs> <laughs> the homeless like uh, wrapping people over the head with cobblestones. <laughs> wow, a homeless Indian guy. I always thought the Indian community like took care of their own and shit. Nah, you never see a Chinese homeless. That's true. That's a very good point. But you see very a lot good. of Chinese. Yeah. They take care of each other. Yes, my friend. 70s porno mustache. Nice. Yeah. Nice. The mustache is coming back. It's making a comeback. The big porno mustache. Uh, Sir. Sorry. Wanda Sykes. How you doing? You're amazing. Wow. Look at this open dress. Oh, wow. Nice. Oof. Double cock. Look at his creep. Yeah. <laughs> Creepy guy in a blazer. Oh, my God. Food, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he was a ghoul, isn't he? <laughs> Staring straight ahead. Take your children. <laughs> a ghoul. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at and that the gentleman. Envelope. Taking a little picture. That's nice. Let's go over here and see what the officer... Uh, officer. Officer. Hey, officer. Don't the you know? came and threw me He's open window. Head. Dun, 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 oh, God. Dun. William Frawley jogging. Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the two joggers just nodded at each other as they passed each other. Wonderful. What, are you getting the cabs today, officer? Nailing the uh, cabs today? No? I like when you guys do the cab detail, when they make those lefts when they're not supposed to. And you hear, ah, pull it over, pull it over. Love that. Any excuse. Holly's got a dime bag of pot in her purse. <laughs> <laughs> Officer. <laughs> Officer. Dried <laughs> uh -huh. <Dried> up skank. <laughs> but she's your oh friend. My God. What a beautiful fucking day, oh. God. Yeah. Hey, glorious day. Gets. That's nice. What a glorious day. Wow. Oh, here's a tall drink of water. Hello, sir. 
Oh, even taller. Hi. Jesus Christ, it's giant town. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Holy shit, that's three in a row. <laughs> what are you coming out of? Hey, nice hat. I like the hat, huh? <laughs> hey, nice hat. Looks good on you, though. <laughs> you miserable twat liquor. <laughs> Oh, look at the disaster that just walked out of the Steinway God building. Rich cunt. It's a piano wearing pearls. Oh, little fat Holy lady. Holy Jesus. Miss, what are you doing to stay cool besides eating everything? Burn of a diet? <laughs> oh, oh, is she turning around? Thought she was going to come after you, How Jean. nice did a piano store to put the spiky thing so nobody can relax and they have a, <laughs> having a heat stroke. <laughs> That's what everyone does to the buildings. Uh, you can't uh, sit anywhere outside. They put spikes in on New York it, City. So you can't sit down on a... Oh, Peter Boyle really like. coming through. Coming through. We're allowing everybody uh, in Red today. Red blotchy head on him. That was good. It was fun. Uh, yeah. I guess that's it, right? I guess. Uh, that guy likes you. George chatting with the homeless gentleman was very uh, funny. Yeah. All right. Grinning nothing over Fucking there. Fucking creepy hairdo. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It looks like a fat Frank Whaley. We'll uh, see you all uh, tomorrow, gentlemen. No ladies, of course. Big cock fest. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's uh, travel inside. Goodbye, sad public. Mm. Oops. There they go. <laughs> Otto killed on the walk over today. He's just following us. Well, in you in a bit. Opie and Anthony, XM202. That sucks. Lesbian. I like that in a woman. And every other kind of deep. I love paying for sex. This moral decay huh? weakens our resistance. Dude. The onslaught of the communist masters of deceit. We're a bunch of scumbags. These abnormalities are corrupting the minds and the hearts of our children. Jackass. I can't believe it. Pedophile humor. Woo. It's depressing and horrendous. It's awful. It's a bunch of idiots. Perversion for profit. Here it comes. Here it comes. The Opie and Anthony program. <laughs> El virus. The Opie and Anthony. God, that irritates me. It's just like somebody took a bat to my brain. <laughs> <laughs> We're the only radio show that makes you want to hate us. Opie. I want my coffee. Anthony. I want that fact. Tim Norton. I want Ozzy. We are going to dumb this thing down to the point that we're going to be number one with Down Syndrome children. Terrible. <laughs> 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 The Opie and Anthony Show. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Look how fast. Look how fast. Who needs the music? Everybody else is stranded downstairs. It was like perfect timing. Walked in, the elevator opened. Shut right away. No pain in the ass people hitting any of the other floors before he got to my floor. I felt so special. But then uh, everyone cuts out and goes, takes a piss. I try to get my uh, my urination done um, over there, CBS. That way, when I'm here, I can come right in. Wouldn't that be the professional thing to do? I don't know. Opie's still zipping up as I see him through the window. <laughs> you really do. I like your dedication to the show. You're willing to just piss and run down the hallway practically with your cock hanging out as you're zipping up and fixing yourself. You don't stay in the bathroom to do that it's, stuff like buttoning and belting yourself. Well, let's be honest. It's, it sucks to be on the air by yourself. Yeah. I did it for a long time. It's boring. And you just start babbling and you're just looking at the door hoping someone's going to show up soon. Filling time with yeah. drivel. <sighs> Crap. And, and I drink so much water in the morning, I take a leak before we leave for the walkover. And as soon as the walkover is done, I take another You've leak. You've got to take another leak. Uh, Armin in Cleveland, what's up? Good morning, fellas. Good I morning. To, uh, let you know, I just picked up the XM. Uh, I got my Opie and Anthony tickets for Cleveland and just loving everything that's going on, guys. Uh, oh. it out. I'll see you soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Short, Later. sweet, nice. Yeah, we like that. We like that a lot. Otto, what did you think of the walkover? I enjoyed it. Yeah. I, it's such a nice day. It almost sucks to come up here, you know? Yeah, I know. It's kind of a nice little break, though. Yeah. Like, it was a pain in the ass when they said we'd, we'd have to do uh, two studios. Yeah. But then you think, you know, we got a fucking break. If yeah. something's happening out there, sometimes we're out there 20 minutes. Yeah, you know, I'm exhausted from that walk. I want to sit down, but I, I, I would love to go to the park right now, you know? Yeah. Maybe, maybe later. Just wander around. Yeah. Watch people get assaulted. You did make a great observation. 
Because, well, you, you know, right outside the building, that's where I like to throw on my inline skates, and I skate home. Yeah. But I, you can't sit anywhere outside. Yeah. Because of the bums, so we all have to suffer. Oh, is that why they don't want bums there, right? Yeah, they don't want bums in front of their building. So any flat surface here in New York City, they, they put spikes yeah. and all sorts of things to, to make sure you, you don't sit there. Yeah. You have to pay for the privilege just to ch ch change your, your skates. That's why they uh, sit on the the um, fire stands, they're called. Yeah. Like the pipes that come out of the ground. Right, Sometimes right. Sometimes they'll throw a spike on one of those. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, why they do really have, don't like the homeless. Why do we have to suffer, though? Yeah. Uh, all right. We got lots to do on this, this half of the show. Let's go to Jeff in Idaho. Jeff, what's up? I was just calling to remind you you got to play for us the uh, last NEW, uh, NEW segment and then remember ONA from Ron and Fez. Oh, yeah. Where are those CDs? They're not in front of me yet. I I'm glad you reminded me because I forgot, and they're not in front of me, so we'll, we'll get those, all right? All right. Later. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, no. It's all this pussy outside. What am I doing here? I felt like a good ass rape. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, where is it? Let's oh see. <laughs> I, what? Penis got dumped out? Holy shit, it's my left. That is, we would have had a clean show at Free FM today if uh, Otto didn't come in today. What, rectum is a bad word? <laughs> wow, six dumps, all Otto. <laughs> Nigger cook? Wait, 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 no, we do a whole thing, Nigger's Otto. not a curse. Hold on, we gotta oh, get the, yeah. the compliment. We gotta oh. get the thing. Oh. Live from the Opie and Anthony Show Studios, The Daily Dump Report. Well, <laughs> folks, here it is. Notice no dumps before 8.16. God, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we like that. Oh. Trust me, Otto, we like that. Um, when Otto said, <laughs> I felt like I got ass raped, uh, talking about going to see Will Farrell's movie, <laughs> oh, I no. felt oh, like I got <laughs> ass raped. <laughs> yeah, for some reason you could say rape. Mm -hmm. You could kind of talk about rape, but you can't. Say oh. where or who was raped and things like that. Specifics. Uh, right. Yeah. That's where they get you now. It's dumb. Um, boy, no more than <laughs> seconds later. Yeah. The minute didn't even change. It's 816 still. <laughs> Pulled $20 out of my colon with his penis. <laughs> I believe the implication <laughs> yeah, of, of the penis being in the colon. Yeah, but it's not entering, it's fucking. exiting. Well, then I you got they a would point. like that. We'll take that huh. to court and see okay. how it holds up. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll have a meeting after the show. We'll we'll try to fight for that one. At eight forty five, uh say goodbye to your shit as they walk out. Otto and George talking about Anthony and his surveillance cameras. Oh. Yeah, shit's a no no. Yeah. At uh, a, a minute later at eight forty six we have a rectal. Otto and George, after Anthony was trying to talk around the issue of where they were putting the toothbrush. See, I had geared it. You could say rectal. Yeah. You could say uh, the man went for a rectal exam. Okay. Uh, he was having rectal problems. But because I had already prefaced it with the toothbrush being shoved in somewhere, when no. you, you then told that it was the rectum. Ass raped with a toothbrush would yeah. probably not be good either. Right. Ass raped Fuck. with a shitty toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And okay. then, uh, again, not even a minute later, still 846, you with a toothbrush in your rectum. <laughs> <laughs> And then one of my favorites at 854, <laughs> the last dump of the day, a nigger cook. Oh. <laughs> Coming from, of course, the great movie, The Shining. That should not have been dumped. No. You with a toothbrush in your rectum, it should say in parentheses, delivered as Jackie Gleason. Yeah. Because <laughs> I do at such horrible At least give you some credit. Yeah, yeah at least there's some humor there. Yeah. If I remember it's Alice. Character, I think it should be all right. You brought yeah. up Alice. God. No, it's Flarney Otto. Nice girl like Trixie, him laughing at you. You got to keep us honest, Otto. <laughs> and, and, the, and you uh, did this morning. The uh, nigger cook line mm -hmm. is from The Shining. The right. only reason they dump out of that isn't because of FCC violations or anything. They're just afraid of backlash and advertisers and things like that. So that's really? why that yeah, word. Yeah, we lost that word. That's not an FCC uh, right. word where they, where they have a problem with it. It's a company policy. Yeah, but your black listeners, they don't they, they that don't thin care. skin. Why'd you, you know? pluralize that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Our black listener. <laughs> they say that word like the these oh. days. I yeah. know. It's that double standard thing that's ridiculous. You go to the hip hop station, tell them they can't say that word. It'd be yeah. dead air. I know. Dead air. Too true. Ooh, did I make Too it? true. What? That sounded good. I think I made that. Yeah. My, my, my day. I thought I missed. shot the basket there into the garbage. <clears throat> What's this Metamucil do for you? 
makes, makes you shit. Dumb. Uh, is that what it does? You, you should be shitting anyway. I do shit. Naturally. What, I mean, why do you, you feel like you're clogged up? Do you eat a lot of red meat? No, why? Oh, I don't Not know. Me. I shit twice a day. Really? Yeah. Uh, whether I, you need it or not. I took a massive, like, fluffy dump when I got home yesterday. Fluffy? Yeah, yeah. it was, like, thick. There was no uh. substance to it at all. I want to like pudding, but but a little solidified. Yeah, like more solid than pudding. If, if, if it was on your chest, it would just be a fucking warm pile that did move, but not fast. <laughs> <laughs> we interrupt this program to bring you the Ozone Midget Sighting of the Day. Hey, Rob, what do you got today? Who saw that? I got a, yeah. I got a midget sighting. All right. It looked to be brother and sister, possibly twins, Asian, how which I've never tell? seen before. Now, walking really, how street, can you tell? Walking down the street with their handler uh, out of Northwestern train station in Chicago. What do you mean, their handler? Uh, it's another a person, possibly a mother, but they were they looked to be like mid twenties or so. Yeah. Anyway, I've never seen an Asian, an Asian midget before, so... Yeah, I've seen those. They were, they were actually walking with, like, a valid person, though? <laughs> yeah, a, a real person. A exactly. valid person. <laughs> an actual hey, human being? And that's all you got hey, on that? That's all I got. Hey, Jimmy? Go ahead, man. Yeah. Meanwhile, back at the show... All right, let's go to Bob in Philly. Hey, Bob, what's up? Hey there, Bob. Yeah, listen, uh... Hey, Opie, you running down the hallway tucking your dick away. When did you wash your hands? Uh, uh he doesn't wash his I don't wash my hands after I take uh, a piss. <laughs> oh, and he's eating blueberries right no. now. I don't know about that. I think you're going to the bathroom too much with Jimmy. Your penis is much cleaner than your hands. Yeah, unless you're waving your hand in front of the stream of piss. Why do you need to wash up? <laughs> Stupid. Well, go over and shake hands with Anthony. See what he says. <laughs> no, no, no. Jimmy. No, most people don't wash I, their hands after taking. I them. wash. Yeah, you I scrub. wash my hands. You scrub. Scrub, Tina. But, scrub, Tina. Close <laughs> <laughs> right. it now, guys. All right. Bye bye. Uh, that keeps you from getting uh, colds too. What? Because you don't want to be crazy wash your hands guy. Because that's like Boom. you know I'll be like on. a lunatic. But if you if you wash your hands after you take a piss, it's not just the fact that you're you're taking a piss and washing your hands, but it's throughout the day you're cleaning your hands. I'll tell you why mm -hmm. you should wash your hands. All right. Well, I take a shower every morning. My penis is clean. No one has touched me. I'm, I'm the first person touching my freaking penis. Yeah. Yeah, but it's no one clean. wants... I'll tell you why, though. It, what's more uh, dirty is when you're pulling the handles and stuff, so that's probably why you should wash. Yeah. But not because you touched your own penis. No, out of common courtesy to other people. Oh, really? Uh, you're touching you your see penis. see what the, uh, half these people do before they shake your hand? But then it's like... They're picking their nose, they're picking their ear. But it's hand job. Picking shit out of their teeth, and then like, hey, nice to meet you. And those are the women. <laughs> wow. I add nothing to this show. That's not true. You were no. killed. Will you stop? <laughs> right. it's, the, it's the planet you add nothing to. <laughs> the show you're very funny on. Oh, your mother's content. <laughs> Dude, I'm kidding, Dolly. Carlo, bring some. Bring some happened here. <laughs> Get us a drink. Yeah, you, like, you bums get involved with her. <laughs> Make so, you cry. It's like a hand job by proxy, though. <laughs> you know, no. yeah. you're one. It's, it's one degree of separation from your dick. Stop. When someone shakes your hand, it's no big if deal. You don't uh, wash. It's no big deal. It's like when they leave that fifth of the top of the um, the paper around a straw when they bring you your beverage, like it's uh, a little yeah. condom for the straw. Yeah. So no bus fumes, a homeless spit will get on your straw before but it gets to you. Meanwhile, they touch the part that now went in your drink. Yeah. Wall Just of give help. me the straw wrapped in paper. Yeah. Too uh, early. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Do? Have mashed potatoes. Uh. Hey, um, Too early. Yeah. <laughs> Look at early. We got a couple of really quick uh, clips from <laughs> Flavor of Love Season 2. We we mentioned this when we were talking to Flavor uh, Flav on the phone the other day. The Flav. There's a uh, there's a wigger chick. You, you watch this show there, Otto? Yeah. Th it's like the, the ghetto prom. It's like uh, the ghetto dating game. Yeah, yeah, I've seen mm -hmm. it. It's like the ghetto bachelor, uh, bachelorette, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they got this one white girl. They have a few white girls in the house, but they got this one white girl. She's uh, she's a wigger. Yeah. But now they're starting to say that she might be just you know putting on an act because she has to talk over the top black. She's as white as can be. Yeah. White as can be. Of course it's an act. Nobody really talks like that. You're instructed, you know, even black yeah. people. 
Black people should talk like this. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? All that other shit is just a masquerade, like they're all rappers or something. It's bullshit. All hardcore hip hop. Yo. It's bullshit. Yo, B. Or something, you know, like that. Yeah, why should you be shocked That's when black. a black guy talks well, like he's not a savage and he's like, you know, an educated, civilized person? That's like a shock. You go, wow, that guy just sounded like a human being. People are. Remember yeah. that? Like Colin, uh, uh, Colin Powell. Yeah. Uh, when he first uh, got some popularity there, people were like, he's so well-spoken. Wow, yeah. look at that. And they were amazed. Yeah. Because it was like, yo, we going to fuck them yeah, up Yeah, because he's shit. not... He's doesn't have to grab his dick to make a point, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yo, we go into that country, buck, buck. <laughs> That's right, son. Let me tell you what I'm going to do, partner. Yeah. Yeah, partner. It's true. We got to back up a second. Jim in West Palm. Jim? Hey, guys. Uh, hey. This is not XM, but I'm in West Palm. Okay. Uh, I want to ask Opie if he thinks it's okay that the guy that cooks his dinner in a restaurant doesn't wash his hands after he goes to the bathroom. Yeah, would you go to Poppy's restaurant from Seinfeld? <laughs> I don't want to know what the cooks are doing. <laughs> Poppy! <laughs> but those guys are doing a lot worse. They're spitting in your food cause, because you're sending it back. They're, I don't send it back. They're doing snot rockets yeah. into your food and mixing it into the sauce. They're picking scabs. Ah, yeah, if that's you think all too much, a lot worse than if they just touch whoa. their clean dick you before they cook much your burger. You'll never eat out again. You'll never Yikes. eat out again. Yeah, no. I'm never going to eat out again. right. Hey, you guys said you were coming to West Palm. I heard you say you were... You were yeah, we were lying. No, we're not lying. Oh, oh shit. teasing, of course. <laughs> oh, what, we're for the coming. comedy show? I, I, whatever, I, I, you know... Yeah, the comedy show is going to have to wait till next summer, but... Uh, Here's when we're, we'll be visiting West Palm. January 4th. Right. When it gets cold here in New York, we will be doing our show from West Palm. For a long time, I'll right. I'll for you. We want to camp out uh, in West Palm for like a I week. I want a condo. We tried to do this last year. It didn't work. Because we didn't have a place to go. We had no place to go. <laughs> I got no place house. else to go. <laughs> you uh, can no stay in my house. No problem. We're going to try to work it out again this Only year. Only if you hang yourself after swallowing a, an engagement ring. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Oki. <laughs> 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 All right, Jim. All right, guys, appreciate it. Bye. Right. Maybe XM could figure that out for I us. I would love to. This year. A couple of years, Palm. I'll be department manager. <laughs> oh, yeah. Things are going to be tough for a while. You and Mom are going to get along great. I wanted a pilot. An Did aviator. You? An aviator. <laughs> great movie. What a bunch <laughs> of laughs. It was lovely. Okay, so Flavor of Love, the uh, the Wigger chick. This is mm -hmm. worth playing. Her name is Buck Wild. Of course it is. Flavor Flav. Is she named all uh, attractive? Or? She's, uh, she's all right. Oh, no, nothing doing. This one fucks niggas. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him taking me serious. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, here we go. <laughs> Make you cry. <laughs> here's, here's Buck Wilder on Flavor of Love Season 2. I have to win this. Flav is meant for me. Like, none of these other girls even come to my level. That's my Flav. I'm going to sit down with you, and we're going to get it popping. Yeah, yeah, boy. Ghetto is his ghetto does, but where I live in the ghetto, it's not too many white girls up in there being all ghetto like that. So I can't really figure out whether that is real or not. You are definitely very aggressive. I try, you know, I got to get what I want, and apparently that's and one you. thing I like about you, you ain't afraid of who the f you are. No, but hey, we pray. So the other uh, ghetto chicks are on to the white girl acting all uh, black yeah. and shit. Oh, they're calling her out on it? Fine. Yeah, they're yeah. like, what? And then they asked her where she's from, and it turns out it's not even really a ghetto. Yeah. It's kind of like a, you know, Greenwich, a, a basic suburb. I think outside San Diego or something like that. San Diego. Uh, we got more. Now this is Flav's romantic date with Buck Wild, the white chick. Rose is just red, even though I'm wearing blue. But for half the, I'll drink every drop of this water for you. Damn. I like Buck Wild. I ain't gonna lie. Wait until I throw my girl in the water. You know I'm throwing you in That's cool. I'm down. You gonna throw me in the water? I can swim. Just let me take my pumas off first, because they brand new. Uh, my puma. I can mess them up for real. <laughs> See, she's like a country buck. I know you don't want me to open that up. Uh, we out in the water. I was feeling a spirit. Do I do it right? You do it right. <laughs> All day and night. All day and night. Fucking macaca. Her... <laughs> Her father has co-workers he has to make eye contact with. Oh, really? 
Ah, that blade wants to fuck white chicks as a black cunt looks like a fucking wallet. <laughs> Thank you, George. Ah, give me a rod. Ah, <laughs> Master. <laughs> Courageous cat, that little prick, Minute Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> And finally... Uh, he can fight all the Flavor Flaves and Tommy Gennaro's <laughs> in the world. <laughs> finally, we get it's this. Sad. It's sad what the culture has become. I mean, I've been to San Diego, to Rancho Cucamonga. That's where I live. You live in Rancho Cucamonga? That's my hood, girl. That's my hood. Then she lived in Rancho Cucamonga. And I was like, girl, I've been out there. That ain't no ghetto. It's not. Where I live at in Jersey City, it's Liberty Park, man. You get Timberlands on the corner of Martin Luther King Boulevard. I'm having a hard time being seeing that Buck Wild is ghetto like she's acting like she's ghetto. You love where you come from, that's it. You got to have love for where you come from. You can't be ghetto if you ain't from the ghetto, all right? You can't redo that. And it's, to me, it feels like it's redone. I like my ghetto. There you go. So they're on tour. And believe me, you could be ghetto if you weren't uh, born or raised in the ghetto. All she's got to do is uh, go out with black guys. You see them on uh, Maury or the other shows every so often. The white, big fat white chick with the bleach blonde hair comes out and yeah. the black guy. And she's just talking. You shut your eyes. You know, you'd think she was doing the real person. But it's an act. It's not real. It's a, it's a conscious impersonation. Yeah. Unless you're from that area. Yeah. You know, then it's different. Like Eminem, I think, is pretty real about what he does and how he talks. You, you know. think? Yeah, absolutely. Are you really? Cause absolutely. Mm. He's too good to not be. You can't You can't make that up and be the best in that game. And I know when he's rapping, he's not. No, I ain't finished yet, yo. Oh. Sounds good, right? Yo, See how off. fast I can lapse into it? Step <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, yo, man, leave, leave him alone. Oh, uh, <laughs> I tried that in high... Uh. <laughs> Dude, I give myself the douche shelter. I remember high school, my fucking Shelto Adidas with fat lasers Ooh. and glasses. Yeah, Fucking nice nerd. look. Nerd, really? Oh, what a nerd! You went for the black thing, but it was Urkel. <laughs> <laughs> like what Jimmy was trying to do. I was a fucking nerd with burgundy fucking pants. What were you trying to do? I just humiliate myself, which I did well. Oh, trying to be like. Uh, were you trying to sleep with a black woman or something? Or? Hmm. No, um, it was. Uh, but that was when like At least that would have some kind of. Dignity. That, yeah, that was when hip hop first started, like rap. You know, like from it's like around '86 started like bleeding into suburbs. Yeah. So I thought it was like rebellious. Oh, but it wasn't. I was just a little. Is that face. before you found heavy metal? Is was your? No, no. I love metal too. You did. That was just a phase I went through for like a year, and then I get out of it. Oh, okay. Forget what happened. Oh, I quit <laughs> drinking. Something happened. Yeah, speaking something of, happened. Speaking <laughs> of metal. Uh oh. Jesus. Did you see the list? No, not yet. The list that was obviously written by Jimmy Norton. Holy shit. It's the list of the top, like, hundred uh, heavy metal albums, is it? Yeah, yeah. Heavy metal albums. Oh, I don't. All right, well. That always, and that always spoils the bit. It though. is. What? Giving it out? Well, they get. How many did you uh, list? We did top 20. Top 20. Ooh. I looked at the top 10 One. online last night. I just swore it was you. <laughs> Top Some 20 more. metal albums of all time? Yeah. I swore Jimmy wrote it. All right, let's see. Mm-hmm. Um, Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin. <laughs> yeah. Come on, you got to get more Wait, let me get not in any kind of order. Yeah. Metallica, Master Puppets, it's got to be. Do I have one? In Top 20, it has to be. Is it in here? I, the right there, right there. Ooh, Ooh, it is hot. Master Puppets. We're looking at Top 20 here. Yeah. Yep. Fifteenth. Um yep. uh, Appetite for Destruction, Guns and Roses. Man Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Anne Murray. No Guns and Roses. Wow, really? Not in the, in the top, top twenty. 20. Wow. Uh Destroyer Kiss. Oh. Uh no. Mm -mm. Wow. No, um, no kiss. So are you willing to say you hate this list? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Not at all. I'm sure it's very open minded too. and good. Um, all right, let's see. Alan uh, Sherman, my son, the folk singer. All right, that's my next yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Boone, a clip for the Palestinians. <laughs> um, um, how about uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Blizzard of Oz? No. You will not find that in the top wow. 20. But there is an Ozzy album in the top This 20. is top... Is it? In the top 20? 20, 20, all time or just last all week? Time. All time. All oh. time. Black Sabbath, Paranoid, obviously, has to be in there. Yeah. 
Um, we can pretty much end the list there. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, there goes that bit. I, I didn't think that'd be number one. Number one. Yeah, Bose, it should be. Heavy number one. Black Paranoid. Sabbath, Paranoid for heavy metal. Is, Is there great? any more Sabbath in the top 20? Any more Sabbath? Well, let's see. Black Sabbath. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Don't, how many more? At least three <laughs> more. Three I'm, more? Okay. In the uh, top 20, at least, yeah. Master Reality, um, Volume 4. Obviously, Sabbath, Blade Sabbath has to be up there. Uh, yep. Volume four is uh, number twenty. What about Led Zeppelin? Sabbath, Sabbath, Sabbath bloody Sabbath, fourth. Yeah. Master Reality seven. Okay. Any more Sabbath or no? I think oh, keep, keep going. One. There's more Sabbath. Oh yeah. One more. Um, well, and one Ozzy. All right, hold on. Let me think. For Ozzy, I already guessed Diary of Mad Men. That's no good. No, you guessed. No, I did Blizzard, and then I said Diary. Oh yeah, yeah. Nineteenth uh, okay. uh, place. Diary okay, and Man. let's see Sabbath. Hold on, I'm going over the. Uh, it's it, obviously it's black Sabbath technology. Uh, it's going to have to be uh, Black Sabbath. Yeah. Number 11. And you, you got number 8? Did yeah, you get you number 8? Oh, Kevin no. Oh, I didn't even see that one. No, Another see. one. Yeah. I, Holy shit. Another Sabbath album? One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's five in the top 11. Hmm. I'm gonna five go, in the top 11. I'm going to go crazy and guess Heaven and Hell. Number 8. You got them all. There it is. Uh, in 12th place, con the Corrosion of Conformity, Deliverance. I love that album, actually. Yeah, it was a good one. And they didn't... They never matched that success, unfortunately. No. Any Slayer? Uh, Slayer, yeah. Rain and, and Blood. Blood. 10th uh, place. Uh, number six, season, Seasons in the Abyss. Uh, King Diamond in ninth with Them. Oh. We did the number two, ones. Megadeth, R Rust in Peace. Right. Wait, one Metallica? Uh, Iron, Iron Maiden. Piece of mind. Released. About Led Zeppelin. They're not really heavy metal. I mean, I think... Really? The Nazis? Yeah. Yeah. That's more rock? Yeah, it's like really hard rock. They kind of just missed... They, they have just... I thought they invented yeah. fucking metal. Silas did. Yeah. Zeppelin's a great band, though, but I mean, I just... And the only one we didn't mention, Iron Maiden, uh, Power Slave in fifth place. Wow, not number of the beast. You probably want to read that because he tells, like, why and everything like that. It's finally a list Jimmy will agree with. <laughs> yeah, I do, actually. Well, I think more Metallica should have been up there. Mm. Well, Pete has uh, observation, too, and observation. Mm. Pete, what's up? Hey, hey, uh, on that list, there has to be Jethro Tull, right? Well, they did win <laughs> the first uh, annual, what, when, when the, the uh, Grammys? The Grammy or whatever? I mean, how yeah. can they not be on the list? The Grammys, when they started their metal category? Right. Yeah. And Jethro yeah, yeah, yeah. Tull won the first one. Wow. Yeah. That's how out of touch the That's fucking how, Grammy yeah. judges That's were. That's as brave as well, they can get. You, you do know that the flute is made out of metal. Mm-hmm. All right. And it could wait something. Out. Thank you, Pete. Let's right. go to Bobby in Jersey. Bobby. Over What's up, Bob? I hate to bring you guys back, but Opie, don't you own a restaurant? Well, my brother, yeah, I, I'm an owner. I'm a silent uh, owner. My brother runs the place, F.H. Riley's 400 New York Avenue in Huntington Village. <laughs> uh, nice plug, right? Yeah. Um, no, honest, honestly, all his cooks, they have to wear those plastic uh, cooking gloves. That's good. Whatever, I like Whatever they're that. called. I like, I that. like that, Every too. time they prepare a meal, they, they w throw a glove didn't on that, their hands. Didn't that used to be called Fast Eddie's House of Trichinosis? <laughs> <laughs> Fast Eddie's is down the street. Okay. We, we, didn't, we didn't go into that. Uh, Fast Eddie's. That, that, House into of that, Trichinosis. Into, into that haunted bar. <laughs> oh, you remember him? I live. Yeah, oh, we used to be every yeah. month, a month together. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid lips, always moist. He's your father-in-law or something? My sister's father-in-law. I, I father see him every weekend. He's got a new magic trick to show us all. Does he still have a toupee that looks like a fucking... <laughs> it's nothing to describe a it. A welcome mat. Yeah. <laughs> like fluff and nutter on top of a chef salad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Speaking of the wow. restaurant, someone overnight wow. emailed us about uh, <laughs> Master Poe is the master of ceremonies at F.H. Riley's Friday. Yes, gentlemen. Uh, this thing doesn't need to be plugged. It's like almost like uh, you know the whack baggers are doing some kind of wedding reception. It's not even an O and A event. Well, I guess it's an O and A event, kinda. But where's the disc, uh, like of the promo or something? He has it over there. What is this about? Serrano's got the disc. <laughs> Serrano's got the disc. <laughs> Stab you in the fucking heart with a pencil. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Midnight run. Right. Oh, nice. <laughs> e Rock. Sure. What do you got? <laughs> He's suffering from fistophobia. You don't get on a fucking plane. <laughs> uh, this Great promo. Movie. Wait, wait. Yeah. Par what? Stop. <laughs> E-Rock's e e the only person I know that would look better with a toupee than 
than in his regular hair. This is like the fourth haircut. It's awful. No, it isn't. You, yeah, it is. <laughs> you should cut your hair with a shotgun. <laughs> Otto. Yeah. Wow. Enjoy. That's real hair. Oh. What? That's real hair. Oh, his hair? Yeah, that's not a toupee. Doesn't it look like those commercials? You could swim, you could play right. tennis. Maury's wigs he's too don't young come to be, off. He's too young to be bald. Why, everybody thought that was a wig? We knew it wasn't, but it's just It so just looks like one. Oh, yeah. You can swim with it. Spiky thing. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Rocky. It's, I, it's I, I can't depend. help myself. I want my money, that. Maury. All right, what do you got with this Master Poet thing? Uh, apparently, some um, fans met helping out Master Poe build his school, and um, they go to F.H. Riley's and stuff like that, and now they just got married, so they're having like a late wedding reception slash party at F.H. Riley's this weekend, and uh, Poe insisted on writing and recording the promo himself. You may give the bride a spinning back kick. <laughs> Wait, he did not. Yes. He insisted on writing it? Yep. Okay. Is it a promo we're running on the... Okay. As of yesterday afternoon, yes. Oh Beforehand, God. let me let me strap in. Lock I don't the, use the seat belt on my seat very lock often. Lock the door because he could kill us. Oh yeah. Oh, live reading. Oh wait, it's not recorded yet. No, it's recorded. Oh, Danny says yes, it is. A spinning back kick. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, let's play, play this. Oh, and a party rockers! This is Master Poe inviting everyone down to F.H. Riders to celebrate Mike and. You can't use our Benny Hill music. <laughs> we use that for horrific stuff. Well, well, <laughs> <laughs> well. All right, good point. I right, start. O and A party rockers. This is Master Poe inviting everyone down to F H Riley's to celebrate Mike and Heather Smith's wedding reception. Come and join the best. I can't hear myself. Testing one, two. Oh, no, I could. O and A party rockers. <laughs> this is Master Poe inviting everyone down to F H Riley's to celebrate Mike and Heather Smith's wedding reception. Come enjoy the. Come enjoy. You can cut it any which way you want. Yeah, right? yeah, you don't have to. Uh, <laughs> okay, to cool. I just go right there. Come and enjoy the best food and drink on Long Island. And Come and enjoy the best food and drink in Long Island and experience the time of your life. This is going to be an all-out bash to end your summer right. We will eat, drink, dance, and sing all night long. That's right. After that's right. That's right. It's another great time at F.H. Riley's. It's karaoke night. The best, the loudest, the biggest bash you'll ever know. F.H. Riley is located 400 New York Avenue, Huntington, New York. For reservations, call 631-271-7600. This Friday, the 18th, 8 p.m. Be there. Wasn't bad. I mean, um, with the exception of the best party you'll know, it should have been phrased better. But aside from that and the fourth grade reading level, I mean, it was, uh, <laughs> it was actually just, it speaks very well. Poe's very clear when he talks. A lot of energy. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 it wasn't and, nearly as bad as I was hoping it would be. And the Benny Hill music works. Yeah. Yeah, because it stops <laughs> right. and it kicks back <laughs> in. Yeah. It certainly works. Uh, it does work. All right. Well, well God bless. Impressive uh, promo. We'd Tell say the happy couple, I'd say uh, hi, but I'm going to be uh, vacationing. Yeah. We'd say more, but you could kill all of us with one drop kick, so I, <laughs> I think it's terrific. He could actually, before I even know what's happened, pull the straw out of the smoothie I'm drinking and plunge it into my neck and kill me with, with the straw. He's an and, animal. And then he'd shove it back in there, and you'd take a last sip as you died. As No, worse. <laughs> as as I, things just go dark... He's smiling, drinking the rest of the smoothie. Yeah, with the lid off, like a man drinks a right. smoothie, as opposed to you. No straw, he just killed me with it. Sip, sip, sip. You don't drink through a weapon? Of course you don't. Wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Poe. You're welcome, guys. We'll take a break. Otto and, and George in-house today, uh, playing the ONA Travel and Virus at the PNC Art Center, August 26th. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that, and I appreciate it. It's not just the $75 that you're paying me for the performance. <laughs> it's, the, it's the thrill of being there on you know, on that stage. Well, you were a last-minute ad. What Some of the you? greatest comics. It's going to be great. People yeah, should come, man. It's a lot Ooh. of fun. First one was great, and we worked out at some of the, the little bugs, and I think this show is going to just be just off the hook. Yo. Wow. I yeah. thought a black guy was sitting there for yeah, a second. Thanks, thank I you. turned around, thank and it's you. Opie. <laughs> thank you. You think it was the real people? Thanks. I appreciate it, guys. <laughs> Opie and Anthony are the latest shock jobs to hit it big. Goddamn! They are heavily into one thing. Boobies. Boobies. Yes. 
one of you, I don't know which one, said, then you can pull out your business. It's junk. We're artists. You present it as innocent, but I'm not so sure it is. Screw you. We're artists. Is there anything you won't do for ratings? We are publicity whore bags. Publicity sluts. We're artists. This is all about money. That's what it comes down to. But you're mercenaries. I mean, you really, you're really... Aren't you mercenaries? We're radio mercenaries, dickhead. We're artists. We're entertainers. We're not psychologists. We're not doctors. We're not daycare workers. We're artists. So it's all on the parents, none on you. None on us. We're artists. <laughs> none on us. Let's say hi to Brian in Dallas. What's up, Brian? Hey, what's going on, boy? Brian. Hey, Brian. I just wanted to know if, since y'all are going to be on vacation, is Jimmy going to be promoting his gig at the Addison Improv, 972-404-8501? When am I there? I don't even know. Uh, the August 31st, September 1st and 2nd. Okay, yeah, I'm doing Houston this weekend, and I'm back for the Traveling Virus show next uh, week from Saturday. Tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, I'm in Houston at the Improv, and then the Traveling Virus, I guess, then Dallas. And uh, right. if you're in New York, November 10th. you got a 10th. lot of new fans down here in Dallas. Thank so you, buddy. Send y'all since you got on XM. Next All time. right, Brian. Hammerstein Ballroom, November 10th. Ticketmaster now, if you want to come see me then. It's the only New York show I'm doing. And Where's you that? Where's the off. Hammerstein Ballroom? <laughs> it's on the west side. It's like 34th Street. It is? Yeah. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah. That's that's a nice place. Yeah, I love it. All right. Uh, who's this from New York? No name here. Uh, uh, hi, this is Jason. Hey, Jason. Jason. Welcome aboard, hey. Jason. How are you? How are you? I, I, it's cool to welcome you guys back. I went to over a little over a year. I just never had a chance to give you guys a call. I always listen to you when I drive into work. Ah, from your lips uh, to God's ears. Uh, but Jimmy, I love you still a nut. I like you guys. Oh, and A, you always make me laugh. You Thank you. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh thanks. Man. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting ready to pack my cruise from Red Hook. I'm going on the ship that tilted 90 degrees. Oh, cool. I'll just hang on to the bow of the ship if it goes down. <laughs> hey, be safe. <laughs> well... Oh, man. All kidding, oh, aside, all kidding aside, be safe. Hey, thoughts and prayers, okay? Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Jackass. Thanks, guys. Yeah. You guys are funny, and I always listen to you, and you guys are the greatest. All Thank right. you. You've slathered enough. You'll be joining Red Button shortly. Yes. <laughs> Hope you're killed under the rudder. <laughs> Who never uh, got no. an autopsy. <laughs> Dude, my girlfriend will kill me. What, are you kidding me? I, I'm, I'm going to be in, I'm engaged to her. getting married next year. If I do anything, she'll kill me. Hey, you? enjoy enjoy that little lucky lady. God bless. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> <laughs> She's very strong-willed. <laughs> By the way, Opie, you had me laughing a couple of days ago about, about a kick in the cunt, and there was a song about it. I mean, I had a pullover. I was oh. up, I was hearing oh. that. <laughs> That's great. Mention mentioned something I made you laugh by. I just oh, pushed the button. Dude. Thanks. The button. He, well, you pushed the right button. I pushed the right button, and there was a fine uh, <laughs> a song. A kick in the cunt. Great. Oh, God. I mean, I mean, I was in the car wash getting my car clean, and, and I, I was just laughing. And then I had to pull over. I'm glad my That's button pushing makes you laugh. I really you pull appreciate over that. Car wash. That's uh, a good point. I don't raise a good point. That's great. You enjoyed that song? <laughs> oh, kidding me? I was laughing hey, all the way home. What was your favorite part of that song? <laughs> Uh, I think my my my, was it? my my favorite part was just in general the whole song and everything like that and then, and then Jimmy was yelling at that girl saying shut up still and all that was telling the girl kicking wanted the to steal your bit but Ovi has to do the second half but. I didn't know I'm sorry, wait, dude, oh, here, I'm sorry here, here, here's my question I really thought he might have a good yeah. answer dude, here's, here's my stupid question. me I'm thinking wait we might learn something today <laughs> you're out you've been a fan for a year on XM what do you like now do you listen on terrestrial and what is it you like about the XM show as opposed to the terrestrial show. Uh, well, the terrestrial show, I mean, it's, well, it's a little early when you're on six He's not doing it. I mean, it guys He's hanging it. us out to dry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, I mean, XM, you guys are a little more raw here in XM. Yeah, yeah. We're really All right, yeah. show us how it's done. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you got to do it's it. It's too predictable. No, no. <laughs> too predictable. Oh. Now you got to do it, though. You talk as long as you want, sir. <laughs> what do you do in Dallas, son? <laughs> no, he's in New York. Oh, I met New York. Uh, what I do, well, I, I work for the city. I'll leave it at that. Uh, best <laughs> just, best oh. just leave it at that, son. I'll leave it at that. I got you. I got you. Best response, oh, to, best response to that question I ever got 
I said yeah, to somebody, what do you do? And he goes, if I tell you, I'll have to kill you. We laughed. Oh, because that's a funny line. Oh, I couldn't answer oh, that. Guy. We boy. just laughed. What do you do? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at you guys. Uh, when, was, uh, when you guys got kicked off at Sex with Sam, I, uh, and, you know, uh, was like, I, I called you guys up that day about uh, what happened to that guy and everything. He was looking for replay, and he said you couldn't replay because you didn't know what happened. But uh, I was listening to you that day when that, when that whole incident happened and everything like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. What were you doing? Uh, uh, I was in Long Island. Uh, I was driving to my girlfriend's house. Oh, wow. I, I was off that day, and uh, I was listening to you guys at Sex with Sam. I said, oh, no, these guys are going to get kicked yeah, off. Yeah, right? you were oh, pretty no, observant, no, no. huh? Oh. <laughs> 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 LOL. <laughs> Hello, Anyways, let me go, because i got to finish packing. Oh, I gotta all right. Well, ship, damn. So. All right. Have a good I, cruise. Godspeed. Have a safe trip. You're going to find your I, dog dead in the hallway. <laughs> Larry! Uh, let's go to Mel. Your mother! <laughs> Mel in Dallas. Good Mel. morning, guys. How are y'all? Okay, Mel. Mel Cup. Mel, Jesus. <laughs> Who are you? Come on. Hi, y'all. We can handle this. <laughs> Stow it. Don't that Hi, make Jimmy. you sad? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, Jimmy. We're um we're thinking about coming to see you in Houston. We've already got tickets to the um, early. Show. Yeah. Are you going to be doing any new material? And I want to bring you a birthday the gift. The fucking pressure now. What's When's the last on? time you saw me? Pressure's on. I have not seen you. My boyfriend's actually seen no, you. So why would you need new material if you've never yeah. seen him? Fuck, so they already got you. Oh, it's the same it. shit. Fuck He's not going to be doing, I'm... you know, fucking Nixon jokes. But... What kind of pressure <laughs> is that? <laughs> I, uh, I actually have... Uh... It'll, it'll seem definitely new to you. Are you going to be driving well, a new tractor? What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you giving the pressure for? Zach is great. Not... First yeah. time, tenth time. I will be doing some new stuff, thank you. It's been a while since I've been in Houston. It's hard, though, when you come through a city, like, every, like, you know, if you just come back in, man, it can be a motherfucker, because they expect, like, a new half hour, and yeah. it was here a month ago. But, yeah, when, I was I haven't been in Houston in a couple of years, so. Houston. Well, what would you like from Texas? Because I'd love to bring you a gift. Um, bring up, open a box. There should be a head with an open mouth in it that I can put my dick in. <laughs> And then, I think I can work that out. Really? <laughs> well, you could just show up with a little box taped around your head, and we can laugh about it after. All right. All right. We can do that. I want my dick sucked. That's what I want. All right. Thank you, Mel. All my right. delicious cock. All right. All right. My shaved, as that massage therapist called it, my meat stick. I want my... Uh. She was taking my cock one time and slapping it against her hand. And she goes, oh, I love this big meat stick. Wow. That's a compliment. Called it, oh, like this really? Meat stick? Yeah, they just say whatever gets your heart. Yeah, that's so that's why I'm... You should shave your balls and spray some Febreze on there. <laughs> <laughs> How about if I was just really literal? Oh, oh Otto, that would hurt. <laughs> Sting. Yeah. Leave a rash. I hate that. Are you going to do any new material? It's like, well, you know, why don't you just slap a new ending onto Blazing Saddles if you're so unhappy with perfection? <laughs> Your act is perfect as it is. She wants a new fucking hunk. Uh, let's say hi to uh, <laughs> Brian in Jersey. Brian. Hey, Owen. Hey, Jimmy. What's up? What's up, Brian? Uh, hey, I, a guy I work with has the little doggy station, the piece of shit that he is. And Howard's got a new commercial out on Sirius that says, for us to survive, we must kill the virus. Figured you guys like to know about that. Good luck he, pe preaching to the converted over yeah. there. Yeah, I know. You know, it's like, what the fuck? The guy thinks, you know... He's going to kill you guys? It ain't going to happen. It just shows how scared he is. Can we confirm yet. this? Because we, really, we don't have the little doggy company. Best example I ever heard of something like that was, uh, wow, I just lost my thought. I mean, I literally my thought just stopped in mid-thought. I lost it. Right out the, there it is, out the window. Oh, go get it. get it. And someone's picking up with a pooper scooper, as they should have. <laughs> we need more yeah, info on this, yeah. Brian. All right, I'll see what I can find for you. I'm punching out for now, gentlemen. Oh, about telling people who already know. I, I was telling somebody this something one time, and they said, you're preaching to the choir. I'm like, I make a lot of sense because the choir already knows what you're telling. They would know. Why would you look at them and tell them? They know. Why preach? Yeah, yeah it's, just, it's just like a whole waste of breath thing. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. uh, say hi to Jimmy okay, now. <laughs> Jimmy. Honest. Hey, what's going on, guys? I was wondering, are y'all just going to fucking rant and rave all day, or y'all actually going to talk about something? Probably rant and rave all day, so tune in tomorrow. Wait, that's true. Oh, really? Oh, and also, Jimmy is going to be at the Edison Improv, August 31st, September 1st, September 2nd. Thank you, sir. I'll be ranting and raving. That I'm a ranting-type comic. I just rant. Oh, well, we've already we've already got our tickets, Bubba. There's about 12 of us going. All right, thank you. That's probably spread out over three nights. Um, the only 12 I have there. J Jimmy. Uh, 
Do, yeah. Are you liking today's show? And you just use that to get through to plug Jimmy? Just, just more, yeah, more or less use that to get through. Your, your oh, okay. Your screeners are nothing but a bunch of dicks anyway. <laughs> oh, you might as cunt then. Well, our, our screeners are dicks. We know it. All right, let's go to Scott and Alabama. Competent Derek and sweet, soft, touchable Travis. <laughs> <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Yeah, guys, uh, y'all going to um, play the Ron and Fez clips you say you're going to play today? Uh, we had a problem with Ron and Fez recently. I've got a plethora of hillbillies calling <laughs> in. What the fuck am I? <laughs> plethora is a great word. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking y'all. That it's George, hold the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> it's waking George up, though. He's not happy. Y'all got there. any new material? <laughs> 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 Fucking filthy hayseed Jew hater. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them all. Fuck America. Catch cancer. <laughs> Phil in Jersey. Phil. Phil. What's up, Phil? Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Sorry. Hey, uh, hey looking forward to the uh, show down in the PNC. It should be awesome for sure. Yeah, we can. And, uh, hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, I just wanted to tell you, man, Lucky Louie this week, fucking dude, it rocked. Thank you, Phil. Funny as hell. Appreciate I was wondering it. if you guys could play that clip when uh, Jim explains where where he came from. Yeah, I'd rather uh, play it on free FM awesome. beeped. There's something about that I really like. I punch it out, guys. Godspeed. Yeah. Well, we can play it. We can play it here and then play it tomorrow because what we got here is uh, the English Spanish thing. We I can like do that, that. And then we can play uh, the other thing over there tomorrow. I you like tell me what you want to do. You get Jimmy's Cold lines. Board. And then you get to hear uh, the Spanish version. Or you want to just wait version. and play that over there and then we'll play. This over here. I would say go uncensored first All right, we'll do it on tomorrow. CBS, and then people all could hear the juxtapositions. All right, we'll do it tomorrow. Remind right? us on the other show. Yeah. We'll do it tomorrow, I promise. Fan might disagree. Fan, thought? Um, the juxtaposition, Fan. Or you could play it uncensored today, and then people will know what you're saying tomorrow when they hear it. Yeah. If they've carried if over. They've if they've carried listened, listened yeah. like... Go on, yeah. hurt me. I'm an easy target. Another way to look at it, though. Uh, we'll we'll just do it tomorrow. We'll figure it out tomorrow. Well, what, what are we playing oh, now? Huh? Well, what are we playing now? Oh, we got plenty of stuff. I know, but I want to hear something now. All right, well, <laughs> uh, local news drops the F-bomb. No. CBS station airs raw uh -oh. footage of on-scene reporter instead of the actual piece. Oops. So I guess they were practicing their piece, whatever. Yeah, that's what happened. Something went wrong. They said, fuck. And then they played that version instead of the real version, I guess. Wasn't Arthur Chien, was it? No. That's not the reporter's fault, either. So let's see no. what this is all about. A fire at a home in Petersburg. A couple was inside that home at the time. Apparently, the husband made it out unharmed. The wife could not. Our Tim Trudell is in Petersburg with tonight's top story. Tim? Here on Morton Street, you can see the extent of the damage inside. Now, of course, this house has bars all over it, and that was a major factor for firefighters as they tried to get in, in here earlier tonight. I can't fucking talk to you. All right, ready when you are. Three, two, one. On this rainy and cold night, Petersburg... <laughs> Obviously, we're having some problems there. We do apologize for that. What you saw there was raw, unedited tape. We'll try to get uh, more of that story to you in just a little bit. All right, who gets Oopsie. fired? You can't the... fire the reporter. Well, Is that Norton Street they were on, by the way? Or Morton Street? Morton. I don't know. You can, I don't think you'd fire the reporter. They had take, no. taped it, taken a couple of takes, I guess, and we're supposed to use one of them during that little tape piece. To use and instead they used the, the one that they weren't supposed to use where he fucked up. Yeah, someone yeah. that you don't even know will so get fired. in some back room somewhere. Well, maybe he was live. He was told he was live and he didn't know it. Maybe he was told you're going live and... Oh, no, because there's a producer going through. Yeah, it's kind one. of a taped thing, yeah. Oh, boy. I want to know why. That you got to give to um, the some guy, guy in, the in a room that's supposed to uh, get the, the correct take. Fired. Fired. So fired. fired. I can't fucking talk here. <laughs> <laughs> We could say it. Where, where's the video of, uh, for people to check out? Gorilla Come and mask. get one in the yobbles. Oh, Gorilla Mask. <laughs> nice. GorillaMask.net uh, is another, another great Vidi website. Video well. <laughs> Vidi well, little brother. Video well. <laughs> Here's the guy doing it. We got the videotape here from uh, Gorilla Mask. Hit turnaround.net. Where is this, by the way? CBS where? CBS 6. Sam. So that, wherever it's 6. That narrows it down. Blah, 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 blah. Rob Cardwell and Stephanie Rockin. Is she rockin'? Or, or Rochin, I don't know. Maybe Rochin. It's a very generic Who newscast. Knows? 
And then they go to the uh, story. There he is. He's pointing, pointing out, yeah, out, out the fire. Well, microphone, it's raining. He and, trips over a word. And and then he drops the F-bomb. Uh, there, fuck, and, I can't talk. And, and now take two. A three, two, one for take two. They go back to the anchor. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. The anchor guy is freaking out. Wait, can you just push it back a little bit? He hey. freaked out when they went back to him. Oh, wow. Look, he's hyperventilating. <laughs> he's hyperventilating. <laughs> I worked. Am I fired? I worked my whole career to get to Mobile, Alabama. Shit! What did they get? I'm at? fired. Wow. Now he's thinking his job's on the line. He oh. is losing it. God. Oh, she's just looking down. No reaction. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even in the fucking room. Look, I, I, uh, I didn't. I didn't say. I don't tape. know. Imagine if he said something really embarrassing, like on the set. Like I, I, wait, I got to redo this, and then I got to go fuck a child. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, it's from Richmond. Okay, thank you. Wow, to, uh, did that anchor Virginia. lose it? When that's the funniest part of that thing is when they go back to the anchor. Yeah, check it out on GorillaMask.net. All right, yeah. uh, let's say hi to Eric in New Jersey. Eric, what's up? Hey, Otto, you ever gonna send me that fucking telegraphies tape or what? <laughs> Who says, Eric? This is Eric from Jersey. I met you at the uh, Bananas over in Hasbrook Heights, and I asked you for the tape. You said you were gonna <laughs> mail me the telegraphies. You fuck. Yeah, fuck. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I could still send you a copy if you're nice. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I probably promised. It was an empty promise. Norton. Otto makes that. more f more false promises than the fucking Bible. Whenever you meet <laughs> it's it, this is what Otto would do. For years, I've noticed this. He'd meet somebody, and he just wants to get away from them. And he'd go, okay, okay. And he would just nod. And then he puts out a stiff hand that kind of bends. It's so stiff. He goes, we'll have lunch. Okay, take care. And it's never going to come to fruition. Yeah. And I watched this well, night. Yeah, he, he wants that tape. He probably loaned it out. To somebody, you know, lends it out and they never get it back. I understand. Um, I don't know. How do I get his address? He doesn't want to give, give it, it to on Derek. Air, right? Right, hold on the line. Yeah, you you got to give your address to hold Derek. Well, I um, like how he goes, I want I want the tape, you fuck. And then I, you go, I'll, I'll do it if you're nice. He's already gotten past being nice. Yeah, yeah. He's no, but he's scumbag. right, though. I probably, I probably said, man, I'll mail it, like, tomorrow, and then yeah. I didn't. I, yeah. I'm, I'm I'll just, get it right oh, out in the mail for you. That's, yeah. you got to get a picture of the handshake, because yeah. the hand comes out straight and stiff. Okay? He stiff shake, and the hand bends. Like, if his right hand comes out, the hand bends backwards. Because it's, it's so, so stiff. It is. And it's yet such an <laughs> insincere motion. Okay? We'll have lunch. Okay? Well, as you become more and more famous, you already are famous, but as you become more and more famous, you're going to need to be able to just completely blow people off because what are you going to gain by talking to most of these people? I'm nothing. I'm not saying I'm not a... <laughs> <laughs> it's bitter, I love it. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Yeah. I don't this even... what we have to look forward to. <laughs> I don't disagree. <laughs> this is our future. I love it. <laughs> nothing. They I have fuck nothing everyone. to bring. What are you going to say? <laughs> but you rocked on Lucky Louie last night. You rocked. <laughs> fuck everyone, <laughs> but please come to my show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hot I don't yeah. disagree. Catch cancer! Yeah. <laughs> 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 but I try to disguise my phoniness better. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm a complete phony. Someone called me out in L.A. to this comedian. No, it's like that whole thing with Mel Gibson. It's like everybody basically hates Jews. At least he has the the balls to say it the out Moxie. loud and not fucking, yeah. You know, the chutzpah. Yeah. Moxie, chutzpah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's go to Dave in Iowa. Dave? I was just wondering why XM shipped on you guys so bad. Well, they really shit on us. I don't think they shit on XM well, I rocks. I when I bought my XM radio, and yeah. they sent me a deal saying welcome to the family, and they got all their talk shows listed. Yeah. And you guys are one face above the and more. Hey, we're on there. Oprah and Ellen. Hey, yeah, but they're all before you guys, and you guys are the best. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're hiding us for a while. It, it's uh, it's been almost two years, and uh, well, I've never even heard fucking Ellen or Oprah or any of the and more. There's a couple they guys that know that were name. hiding us at first. They've we're, been we, hiding us for a long time. This is, we're honest with ourselves. We understand when we got hired, we got hired pretty much so uh, we wouldn't get hired anywhere else. Uh, I don't think we were really, they really knew what they were hiring. I don't think they were familiar with the program that much. They had no idea about the show or what it was capable of doing. So they just figured, ah, until, well, we'll until, hire them. And I got to say it, until Eric Logan came aboard. If yeah. Eric Logan didn't, you know, get hired by XM, we were fucked. Oh, I'll be completely, bad. completely honest. Would've and I mean bad. it when I say completely honest. Yes. Yeah, would have we been a bad we were thing. Fucked. Years and it's been two years, and you're the greatest out there now, and you're still uh, just above and more. I don't get they it. Thank us, you, man. They give us um, like a half second in their XM spot. That's pretty cool. Oh, that the is. thing with Eric Logan is he gets the show. Um, we never allowed the fact that he's a homosexual to interfere with no, our relationship with him. Why should we? 
Doc. <laughs> All right, you guys are great. Thanks a lot. All right, Jay. <laughs> Let's go to Peter. That's not a real badge. I'm telling. <laughs> Peter. Yo. Hey, hey there, Peter. It's, it's Skeeter. Oh, Whatever. Sorry. Hey, Otto, I met you, I met you at some club in Lynnhurst yeah. years ago. You, you called it a hole in the wall with chairs. Yeah, and you came and you came in late, and the guy, the promoter, his name—I forget his name—he was uh, he's like, "You want to meet Otto?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'll meet him." And then you came in the door, and he's like, "Hey, there's this Otto," and you just looked at me and walked away. And in Lynnhurst? Yeah, in Lynnhurst. You just walked away. It was so uncomfortable. And then I went into the bathroom after your set, and I saw the guy to, like in the bathroom that like introduced me to you, and I yeah. go, "Hey, that that Otto is a really ungrateful bastard." Right. And you walked out of the uh, stall after I said it. Uh -huh. Heard everything I said about you. Do you then remember that? Then what happened? <laughs> he just, I just, he just looked. No, no, at no, no, no. But I mean, after you said that, <laughs> that was it. Just, no, no, no. You, you're missing something, dude. He he walked away. I got you, Jimmy. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. I love Otto for that. <laughs> All right. Then what happened? Andy Mike. Yes, sir. Uh, just heard somebody call in talking about XM not being very uh, grateful for having you guys on. Well, they're and sort I of showing. Well, are they though? They. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I they, have uh, no idea. I, I heard we're on their uh, their website today, so that's kind of hey, nice. Hey, there you go. They gave us a day on the front page of their website. That's, that's thank you. That's kind of nice. You but know, I did notice all the CBS stations have had us on there for the last 120 days straight. But yeah. XM gave us a day today, so I guess we should be grateful today. Uh, it was about a um, go ahead, guys. Go ahead, Andy. Mike. Oh no, sorry. It was about a month ago or so that uh, on the uh, that I heard uh, Willie Nelson talking about Hank's place changing over to Willie's place, and the first thought that crossed my mind was, wait a minute. They talked about how they couldn't change high voltage to something like the virus because it would be so much cost to change all the. The uh, promotions and everything, and yet, gee, they seem to do it for Willie. So I want to know what. Here's the bottom line: for you guys. Uh, I think eventually they will. I think if we want it badly enough, the name brand uh, of Opie and Anthony should be the channel name, and it should have been since day one. But in all honesty, they did not want the name Opie and Anthony on packaging. They felt it was controversial. They didn't know what kind of a fallout there would be, and that's as truthful as we can be about it. I don't think now it's about that. I don't think now they would have a problem with that. Um, I think they will change the name if, if the show really wants them to change the name. you got to pick your battles. We gave up on that one a long time ago. We hate the name High Voltage. We've been saying this since day one. It, yeah. means, it means nothing to us. High Voltage. No yeah. one shopping for an XM would see that and go, oh, yeah, that's an Opie and Anthony. Yeah. Nobody. The name means nothing on anyone. so many levels. It was yeah. a lawyer that... that Chose the name. High voltage. Yeah. There was a lawyer. She was coming up from Washington just before our press conference. It's which like is danger zone. Which is it's about like two years <laughs> ago, to uh, right around this time. Yeah. And she's like, uh, guys, we need to name the channel. Think about them. And, and I and Jimmy and everybody else were thinking about, you know, all right, well, can we call this thing? She comes into the press room uh, for our press conference and goes, we're going to call it high voltage. Yeah. And I look at her like, what? And she already, it was already in the press release and everything. It was way too late. I'm like, what does that even mean? Yeah. And she was going off the whole angle of shock jocks were shocking high oh, yeah. voltage. It's stupid. It's cliche. It's so cliche. Yeah. I, I told them. And easy. Just yeah. too easy. Yeah. It should be um, cunt farts. Should be the yeah. Name that of the would be a good. Janice's fucking cunt in Hamden. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Indy Mike. But we gave up on that one a while ago. Uh, Sonny Ferrelli from Boston. What's up, Sonny? Hey guys, what's happening? Hey Jimmy, I gotta tell you, the other day when uh, that newcomer called in and asked for you some advice about drinking, and uh, Lady Di was on the other line, and you kept on switching over back and forth, <laughs> I'll tell you something. All my all my twelve step buddies, they're fucking, they're on the fucking ground, oh, fucking thanks, man. laughing their asses off, Thank and they you. want me to actually take that bit and they want me to play it at a twelve step meeting. I wouldn't suggest it. It's too dirty, man. <laughs> no, no, I'm sick. I'm 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 fucking serious. Uh, it, it's so unbelievable. It's it's something that the transmission line between uh, you know a lot of drunks get that you know. Well, it, it's it's fucking unbelievable, man. You fucking rock, Jimmy. Thank that, you, buddy. That's the first clip uh, in a long time we've put up on opianthony.com. So it's up there to listen to whenever you want. Thanks, yeah, buddy. Uh, get, See you, son. What? <laughs> they what? got that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm on a fucking cell phone. Yeah, I'm fucking punching out. Bye. All right, punching out. Wait, what is that? Why are you all so punching out? They're all so radio hip. It's just a term. Well, no, it's I... a term that no one knows how to use properly. Yeah, but as soon as they get hip to a term like that, you should immediately stop using it yourself I and know. have another one. We've said that. Yeah, we've said that before too. Yeah. 
Guys, we got a bid for Mark Chernoff, so this has got to be terrific. Uh oh, what is this? He's uh, the program director over at Free FM here in New York City. Yes. Uh, over at the other joint. Uh huh. When we do the first half of the show, and uh, this is Inetta, the mood setter, quitting live on the air. Who's that? After six years of being a part time on air personality at WBLX in Mobile, Alabama, uh -huh. Inetta, the mood setter, Seta exits WBLX with a bang. Oh God! I hope she shoots herself. Did she kill herself? Then, then that would be a terrific bit. Mm. We, no, we would have heard about it in the news. Yeah, right but here. it's from yeah. Mark Turnoff, so it's got to be something uh, a lot less exciting. <laughs> uh, listen to her quit live on the air unexpectedly Saturday afternoon. Here it is. The big station, 93 BLX, it is the Gulf Coast number one for hip-hop and R&B. And now with Ray Ray and Miranda, the home team in the morning. Do it to it. What better song to do it to it? It's our net of the move set. And I told you I had a very important announcement. And here it is. I refuse. I refuse to walk around and watch people on my job, looking over my shoulder, people lying to me, people talking about me. It's ridiculous. It is sad. I can't take it. I'm not going to take it. I don't have to take it. I'm not a dummy. I know how to. Wow, she's such a rebel. She's ready to quit, but she makes, makes sure she gets the seg, the mix right. The yeah. segue in. I ain't a dummy. I ain't a dummy. People ain't dummy. <laughs> Why are you quitting, dummy? I can't take it. I'm not going to take it. I don't have to take it. I'm not a Does she hit the... Uh, very good. I can't use that line. It stands. Does she hit the post <laughs> right when she says when she's you, out of there? I quit. <laughs> oh, very good, Dan. Uh, Dan. All right. Gonna take it. I don't have to take it. I'm not a dummy. I know how to find another job. But I refuse to walk around people. You can say what you want to say about me. And if you see me on the street, I'll let you know whatever you want to know. But I refuse. For the last six years, I made $6 an hour. That ain't nothing. Wow. I just got a raise after six years. I know. Maybe if you talk better, they would give Jesus. you a, a few more bucks. They didn't know what you wanted. <laughs> they don't know what you were asking for. Six dollars. Six dollars? Six bucks an hour she was doing that for? Or is she kidding? No, that's part-time shit. Oh, wow. I just got a raise after six years. I know I'm qualified, and after saying this, I don't care if I ever get another job in radio, period. It does not matter to me. But we, I never will not be setting the mood at BLX no more. I refuse to walk around with people that are speak to you. Hey, Arnetta, how you doing? But then as soon as you walk by that bitch, I will not do it to myself anymore. So if you're confused about what I'm saying, listen very carefully. I quit this bitch. I'm a big station. 93 BLX. Ah, oh, you stinking Netta. I quit this bitch. And then hits the commercial? Yeah, then bam, out. How about you quit and then you all the listeners hear you just... Take some calls. No, just collecting your stuff. And oh, then, yeah. And then there's dead air until someone can get in there. Do something. Mm -hmm. I, wow, that was so dramatic. You I hire another bitch for this spot. I ain't fucking... Mm -hmm. What? Who cares? Mm -hmm. Goodbye to Netta, the mood setter. <laughs> what a dope. <laughs> I quit. Right. Right for the I promo quit. for the station. Mm -hmm. Wow. Woo. Hmm. Really uh, getting edgy with Did that. Did she punch out too? <laughs> I punch out. I punch mm -hmm. out. Net of the mood setter. Yeah. Setter. Ugh. <laughs> Who cares? Thank you, Mark. Really appreciate it, Mark. Uh, Rich in Chicago, what's up? Hey, boys, I heard uh, about 20 minutes ago one of the hillbillies called in and asked if you guys were going to play some Ron and Fez clips. Then Jimmy said you guys had a problem with Ron and Fez. What's that all about? Oh, it boy. was behind-the-scenes stuff. Yeah, we can't oh, talk boy. about it. It's uh, You might want to ask them. All right, thanks. It's really up now. to them if they I want to know why. If they want to air that dirty laundry, but it was uh, not good. Oh. Yeah. So uh, that's all we can say about After that. After being friends for so long, too. Yeah. yeah right. it's, you know, unbelievable. I know. Let's yeah. go to Jess in Jersey. Break up my party. Enough on that. Uh, Jess. Hey, guys. How are you? Hey. 
I thought you'd really enjoy this one on the Jesus station this morning because that's what I wake up to because it makes you really want to shut it off. <laughs> Their tagline <laughs> was riding the comedy Zamboni on the ice of life. Oh, please get audio of that. It's <laughs> 99.1 in New York. 99.1 in New York? How many Zamboni? Yeah, I think it's called the Star. On the ice of what? Wow. 99. On the ice of life. On the who? Jesus. We're in New York. But 99.1 in New York. You sure yeah, it wasn't like Jersey Jesus or something? Happy go lucky it's stations. Huh? <laughs> it's one of those Jesus happy go lucky oh, stations. Oh, wow. All right. It's W A W Z 99.1 FM. Christian music. I want to get a new Christian music. You got to trust music. me when your alarm goes off to that in the morning, you want to get the hell up. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> Language. Oh, baby girl. Christian <laughs> music. Can we listen in to some Christian music, maybe? Well, All right, we'll figure it out. All right, about, rock on. Thanks, guys. But it's about God. Thank you. Shows Jesus. All right, we'll take a break. Is Rebecca Love here? And what is she doing today there, Steve? Yeah, what is she doing? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We need to know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Donna oh. needs to know. Good, good. <laughs> She'll, uh... Um, turn on, turn on, turn on. It is on, sweetie. I know. I can't hear anything, so Jimmy's messing with me. Uh, she is willing to, she's very open-minded, she'll come in, she'll get naked. Uh, there is one restriction that she, uh, made me aware of, and it's because of an injury, which she is willing to, uh, discuss graphically. Okay. But she's a good egg. Oh, hey, the ball today. <laughs> <laughs> the ball she won't do something? No. My health doesn't allow it. <laughs> Really? Yeah, some, there's some kind of it. really awful uh, <laughs> internal injury. Food! All right! Oh, my God. All right, that could be interesting radio. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, the program scheduled for this Christian music station. You start your day off with Sharing Jesus. Sharing Jesus. Truth for Life is the next program. These programs are like 15 minutes long. Otto and George MySpace. <laughs> Otto and George MySpace. Otto and George MySpace. Advertised on the uh, Christian. Yes. Uh, Adventures in okay. Odyssey. Family Life Today, Focus on the Family, In Touch, Key Life, Money Matters, Big Change Moments, Breakpoint, Go For It, Joni and Friends, Living a Legacy, Ooh. Listen to the Bible, mm-hmm. Need Him, A Word with You, and it just goes on and Me on. getting crucified, him laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's terrible. I'm sorry. Yes, you should be. How'd your parents die? Why not? How'd your parents die? <laughs> That's Steve, the guy we just saw. Oh. Acting. That was his acting. We did a sketch on the show, and that was his acting. Awful. This is him just saying, why not? And him saying, how'd your parents die? With the same delivery. Yeah, you know. would think that how'd your parents die would have some drama to it, but... How'd your parents die? Why not? How'd your parents die? Why not? How'd your parents die? Why not? <laughs> it made why not sound like a statement. Yeah. yeah. Awful. What's my problem? You're in my fucking house. Singy wow. song, singy song. That's right. That was exasperation. Ooh. Wow. Before we take a break, Jimmy in Texas. Jimmy? Hi, hey guys. I just want to know if you were pissed off at uh, Ron and Fizz for using the Fire, Fire, Fire song on the commercial. Um, It's got, whatever, man. It's all tied into a whole bunch of stuff. That, that's that's kind of part of it, but, uh, you know. Yeah. I specifically just, talked to Fez. Just been shit over time. I knew what it Tell was. Tell you the truth. It's really up to uh, them. Later. Out. It's uh, really up to them if they want to air this uh, dirty laundry on their show today. Yeah. Uh, White Tail, what's up? Hey, hi, guys. How you doing? Good. You know, Ronnie made one reference the other day on the radio about them signing Twitchells as being, uh, like, the hole on the show. And Opie was pretty clear about wanting Twitchells to just pretty much fucking curl up and die. So is that what's going on? Dude, yeah. like I said, it's a bunch of things. Um, whatever, dude. You could tie in a couple of things like that, maybe. Um, let's again, it's up to them. Like Ope said, they want to talk about something the company. that happened. Yeah, over time. What do they do? Just wake yeah. up every morning and just listen to our show for their show prep? <laughs> oh, say please. no more. Say no more. But Enough. you know, oh, I, get it. I think you understand hey, Jimmy, what's going you're on. Rule, here. Man. Thanks, Thanks fella. for signing my stuff at DCU and Worcester. You're the ball. You, I was look, waiting for you to call in. You're no problem. And hey, dude, this is the sound man. almonds oh, make. My God. Stacy fucking Stone from the Christian station looks just like me. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let me look. Wow. Oh, my God. I'm growing a beard. Wow. Wow. What the fuck? You might want to do yeah, a little... Upper hand. And look at Fat Mark Marin, David Dean. Yeah. You might want to do a separate sideburns. at birth section on Whack Bag, because there's a lot of those uh, happening lately. Sideburns. Uh, Imus oh, says boy. that Anthony looks like the shoe bomber. Yeah. I look like... 
Stacy Stone, it looks like, from the Star 909.1. And uh, someone said Jimmy looks like Boy, Boy George, George cleaning so. up the garden. No, Michael yesterday. J. Fox I got my whole life. Yeah? I really did. Really? Yes. So uh, maybe you could do a little separated birth. Really? When you were a kid? Maybe 50 times I've gotten that since I was an adult. Michael J. Fox? Yeah. Don't yeah. don't sound so like it couldn't be possible. I'm looking at your kid picture trying to see it. No, no, not, not that young. When I was like in my, like 1920, Michael J. Fox. Where's really? the kid picture? That's that's me when I was a boy. On the Looks left, like a young lesbian with the glasses. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I should be walking through a Peanuts cartoon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, Johnny Stone in the morning. He uh, does a bit called Submit Prayer Request. Ah, uh, good. good. <laughs> and then we can view prayer requests. Oh God. Jesus, stick your finger in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, we'll take a break and we'll we'll try to get more info on this uh, this uh, radio station. What? Selfish. Oh God, selfish prayers. There's World War Three happening, but someone wants. Uh, please pray that my house will be sold soon. I bought another house and I'm paying for both of them right now. Okay. Oh, holy crap! I don't think God's gonna hear your prayer. Uh, ah, please pray for my boyfriend and I to stop fighting about misunderstanding and to bring back the love that it was there before. Amen. What about love? Just start blowing him again and everything will be all right. Yeah. Uh, I need all the prayer I could get. I have three blood tests to confirm. All right. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> With diseases I can't even pronounce. Good luck, bro. I just found out that my bro, 47, was hit on his motorcycle return. While re God, this is depressing shit. Yeah, people, you know. Please pray I find someone to love me and I them. Here's one. Please pray that my husband finds his way home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder where he's going. Uh, yeah. Please pray that I get to go to a special event in my children's lives that my husband does not want me to attend. These prayers stink. All right. We'll take a break. We'll continue with Otto and George. And I think, uh, what? Uh, Ruben in Laredo, what's up? Yeah, man, I just want to tell you guys, why don't you just end the show now and put on Ron and Fez, man? This shit is getting boring already. Then change the channel. Oh, yes, or at, least, boy. or at least speak without that silly accent, Ruben. You sissified motherfuckers, And man. that potty knock oh, on you. Stealing, they're stealing our stuff. And they're he's drunk. Ruben... Why do you talk with a dumb accent? Look, you, now, nobody's stealing your shit, man. Robin Fest is better than your stupid. Well, no, Ruben, what what third world dump did your mother crawl out of? I no 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 disrespect, but what, why are you talking with that silly accent? Why you dumb fucks? Language. You're Stealing our show. Why you have a potty mouth? Look, you can't face the fact that uh, Ronnie and Fezzy there are uh, are, are rip off artists. They're ripping us off. Man, it's better than hearing. So it's out, it's out, it's out in the open now. now. It's it's uh, just down the open home. now. Yeah, it's up to them if they want to admit some things. Yeah, I mean if they have an audience full of dirty, filthy people who don't speak with a proper accent, that's fine. There you go. It'll be up to them. Can I go home now? Just speak that's English properly. You, uh, goodbye, Stop with Ruben. the accent, you goodbye. unclipped savage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's go to Brad in Virginia. Brad. Uh, hey. Hey. What's going on, guys? Hey. Yeah, I think you guys are lucky that you have Ron and Fez on your channel. Do you? Yeah. I that, yeah, I think they're a lot funnier than you are. Oh, you are they? they? Then why are you listening to us? Uh, I think that I'm waiting for the Ron and Fez. That's not a good answer. You know what time it comes on. You don't tune in at 1030 and yeah. wait for an hour and a half. So you're lying. Why are you listening? Just tell the truth. It's not hard uh, to be funnier than us when you have the whole morning to listen to our show and then uh, do it again and make it a little better. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest yeah. here. Well, I mean, I, I like you guys. I think you're funny at times, but for the most part, you just... There you go. Beat it. Oh, so he no. like, we caught him lying. Why are you listening? Waiting for the Rod and Fez show 90 minutes before it starts. Then a minute later, well, I think you guys are funny. Well, then just tell the truth the first time I ask, boy. Eric in Utah. Hello. Yeah. I pray that my black eyes will go away before she goes out in public. You what? Oh, that's pretty funny. I heard my wife. I pray my wife's black eyes will go away before she goes out in public. <laughs> Clumsy girl on those steps again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Rob on Long Island. Rob, hey, what's up, guys? Hey, um, yeah, I don't want to start any rumors here, but I think I heard Ronnie say that Jimmy Norton sucks big fat tranny dick. Oh, you know, boy. yeah, it's it, you know, it's okay when we say because we're all friends here, but when they say, you know, it hurts a little. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Nice All right, let's go to Jim in uh, South Dakota. Yeah, yeah another Ryan not. Fez fan who crapped out. Uh, Greg in D.C., what's up? Hey, guys, just wanted hey. to let you know we're actually coming up to do your walkover tomorrow, but Pittsburgh, we were up there over the weekend, and they love you. We got our first free Opie and Anthony shirts in Pittsburgh, not in D.C. where you got XM. Oh, no, no. We had to drive to Pittsburgh. Well, you tell me. Op- I'm glad I'm you enjoy it, man. You, you think about that when they're yanking us off Pittsburgh next week. Why? We don't know. Why? I have no idea, dude. You talk they're to them. Standing outside, I'm not kidding. They're standing outside the stadium, outside the Pirate Stadium, and the station up there is giving away your T-shirts. Excellent. Well, mm-hmm. that, that will end. Uh, what is today? Today is Wednesday. Try getting them next Monday. Jesus Christ. Well, fuck Ron and Fez. You guys are funny. Language. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right. We'll uh, break. It's getting a little uncomfortable in here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, across America. Wow. Two tales from the road. Real people, real stories, real boo. Opie and Anthony, I'm headed out of Houston, Texas, over to uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana on Interstate 10, and just got wowed by a good looking blonde cougar driving one of them little Suzuki Jeeps, and she just popped out one little titty. Looked like a nice little B size. Looked great. Wow sticker worked, worked uh, just. As advertised, man. Got wowed on a Tuesday by some 50-year-old chick hanging down flapjack. It was pretty gross. There's Jeff the Trucker from Eureka, California. I got wowed yesterday by the university. Then a little girl showed me a little cupcake with her little Hershey kisses on them. Nice little mouthful. We had a good time. Just put the sticker on my truck, guys. If you get wowed, call the Opie and Anthony Wow Line, 866-WOW-ME-05. And if you need a wow sticker, go to opianthony.com. Very proud of my big tip. Say hi to Eddie in Ohio. Eddie, what's up? What's going on, guys? You're killing me. You're bitching about Ron and Fez stealing your shit. Y'all always stealing Howard's shit, you fucking Howard hag. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Always stealing Howard's stuff. Around, you're always stealing her shit. Give us, uh, maybe, give me an example of the Howard shit we steal. Yeah. Guys, I'm fucking with you. I love you both. I love I all knew you. it. Thank you, Mr. the people that love great, us. And you kill me. You're always joking around, and all of a sudden, boom, you just turn serious, and some intelligent shit comes out of your mouth. Thanks, man. Love you guys. All right. Thank you. Good boy. Hey, y'all have a good one. say boom, and then some shit comes out of your ass. <laughs> All right. right. Where's Rebecca Love? Rebecca. She has an injury or Rebecca something. Love. Do you expect me to believe you don't know your left <laughs> from your right? <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Hello. Rebecca. Rebecca Love. Hello, everyone. Rebecca. She's a busty gal. Hi. Hello. You were here for the ostrich story, I think? Yes. Oh yeah. My God. One of the best oh, stories hi. ever. That was it. You I look different. You. Your hair was down or something? Different color? Um, same color, just put the extensions in. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. thought I asked you not to bust in here like that. Mm. Hey, who ordered the throw pillows? <laughs> <laughs> That's Otto and George. This what? girl could do the pencil test with a typewriter. And... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you certainly uh, do have... Um, yeah, it's very nice. You got some uh, apples. You're very chesty. And you're wearing a little vest, which is good. Well, I wear a vest off. because, you know, you're walking in New York City and all. You don't yeah. want everybody staring. But I, I can take it off. Do they? Uh, wow, why, why not? Wow! It's Barbara Hershey with John Goodman's tits. <laughs> 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 a little perkier, though. Oh, man. <laughs> Wow, and um, well, you woke up George there, Rebecca. Yeah, yeah. what exactly? Tell our listeners what exactly you do. Well, I um, I have sex for a living. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm a legal prostitute. If you think about it. Nice. If you think about it, let me for a second. Okay, okay. Nelson. I, are you going to do an Arthur oh, impression, or are you leaving it up to me? You got to do <laughs> it. Are you a hooker? I thought you were going to do Arthur. I don't know. Yeah, I thought I was just doing very well with you. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, yeah, I get paid to have sex. I'm a porn star. Porn oh. star. Ah. Porn star. Of course. Do you and, uh, how many guys? How many guys would you say? You're both co-starred Would with. that be in public or private? Uh, oh, oh, well, you know, that I got yeah. But, uh, 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 how many, how many movies? Uh, over a hundred. Over a hundred movies? Yeah. Wow. Multiple guys per movie? No, I've never done two guys at once. No. No. No DP? Is that no. after marriage? Or, uh, yeah. <laughs> Any ass? You do the nope, ass? No, no anal. No anal either? No. So you're straight blowjobs and pussy? I only do blowjobs if it's part of the sex scene. Wow. So all, if if you don't do pussy, then you're a lousy I do pussy. Oh, okay. I, okay. I was going to say, you, won't just, no. you just plugged all our holes up and My? you won't just do a blowjob scene, though. No, it, what's the point? You're gonna, you might as well no. just shoot a full scene and chop it up into a blowjob scene. You know. I like a good blowjob scene. I like scene, to kill though. two birds like with one stone. Scene. I love cold corn. <laughs> you can have a great blowjob, you know, scene. I just don't want to show up just for that. Mm. No. I, eh. Is it a money issue? No, no, no. I only yeah. shoot to dance. I mean, I I shoot for Wicked v- VCA. Well, used to be VCA, Hustler. You know, all the top name companies, which are feature films usually, and they chop those up into Gonzo. So less movies I have to do. Okay. Yeah. Whatever works for you. Yeah. We well, hear you have an injury. Yeah. yeah what I happened? Do. Okay, this is what happened. I was on set and we were doing a photo shoot and the last photo shoot I thought oh, I'm going to get a little creative done it before took my shoe off it's a five inch heel mm-hmm. I'm thinking insertion yeah that would be a great idea that would make a great photo well anyway I guess my shoe was a little too sharp too spikish oh wow Uh-oh. I inserted but you really can't feel what past four inches in there you know on the last inch it kind of broke through some skin. <laughs> oh, God, I'm I getting that weird tingly feeling in my nutsack with yeah. her talking about well, this. Aren't you getting I like get that, that, I that, get that weird now, here's the tingle? Thing. I got a few problems I didn't, with this. But go what, what happened? No, go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't feel it mm-hmm. at first. And what happened was I thought I started my period because, you know. It started bleeding. bleeding. Yeah. And the wow, photographer stopped. He's like, oh, my God. I'm, and I'm thinking, no, it's that time of month. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So we eventually stopped, and but I here's did the question: you seek I got. medical attention? Yes, I did. Here's a question I got: Couldn't you have like faked that photo and just like sawed off the heel and then have it? It's you know, and then well, it's like wow, good yeah. shoes for a half her. A shoe, you know what? That's all. You, Great idea. You bring idea. in a stunt shoe. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Or Seriously, a stunt why cunt? take the chance? No one would have known. One or the other. Nothing. All right, I hear you. All right, good. It was, it was good. I liked it. Get at least the taking a leave before you do that. Well, I've done it. Be- <laughs> I've done it before. I guess I just didn't lube it up very well, and uh, it was my shoes. You know, I don't want to cut a hundred dollar pair of shoes. I was like, no, I want to be in show business, but I don't want like an ice skate shoved up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. How far up was it? Your cervix? Did it, you, did it, you, it actually your cervix? where it cut. It actually was a lot lower. It was a sharp end that just you know cut cut oh. the beginning part. So how long does that put you out of work? Do you get workman's comp? Well, no, I work. I work. <laughs> oh, I just, you do? I just do B-rated movies right now and Cinemax and stuff. I do those. The doctor said it was B-rated. high heels, but I knew what it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God it was a doctor that knew what I did for a living. Because you imagine walking in there going, by the way, I shoved a five-inch heel up my cookie. My shoe. <laughs> it, it hurt my pussy. I fell off a oh. ladder. <laughs> and my head was bashed apart. <laughs> <laughs> so I hurt myself. Yeah, and how long does that take to heal that kind of injury? It's like uh, a rotator come on. cuff. It takes about four weeks, wow. four to six. Yeah, yeah. So it's all nice. Got a gash in your gash. tissue. It, it's not too bad, but it's the you know the bacteria that could get up in there that I. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want that. Don't want that. Do you shave your private area? Of course. Uh oh, man. I hope men do too. If I'm uh, shaving, you better four. be shaving. Well, Jimmy Norton Jimmy, likes it. N- nothing. You shave your cock. Jimmy everything. and George right oh, now. I find that Thank very you. disturbing. <laughs> Why? Why? Why do you need to shave it for? <laughs> Women like it better. They, they like do. it better. They do. I, I like don't want to be flossing. Isn't that ridiculous? Shave all I of knew it. you'd become a weirdo. No. <laughs> I'm not that hair to begin with. I don't have much hair to begin there's, with. There's nothing wrong with keeping it clipped. Like, you don't want your bushes in front of your house l- l- growing over the windows. So you, but you don't want to just rip them out by the roots either. When did you, you get it in your mind that, that you have to look aesthetically good for the other sex? It's a woman's <laughs> job to get dolled up How for us. How do you know it's for the other sex? Dolled up. Oh. Well, he's not a homosexual. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah. Never assume. No. Yeah. no, it's true. But uh, no, it's for girls. But girls <laughs> like it. I had a girl one time tell me. 
You should shave that. It's a dame's job to get dolled the girl up, not yours. Will be more inclined to suck your balls yeah. if they're shaved. They like. I've never had a woman not like it. They've always went like any reaction I've ever gotten has been, "Ooh, I like that." Yeah. It's never been bad. Yeah, I got. Yeah. To, I got to see it, Otto, when we filmed a little video. Yeah, did you know? We had to do a second take because I laughed really hard. Yeah. <laughs> Completely smooth and shaved. He looked yeah. like a little boy. But with then a you loose have to cock. do it every day. No, my <laughs> cock was miserable that day. I was packing maybe a half. <laughs> it was so soft it wouldn't bend. Oh. It was like a fucking. Uh, like a little, like a, a like a little midget thumb. That's what I had sticking out of my oh, torso. It was God. <laughs> the video. Well, you don't get to see that. You get to see Jimmy's ass though, because he's completely naked. Really? And, yeah, and Jimmy the, did a little porno in the shower uh, rape video ago. that's on uh, Opie and Anthony. Why do we shower rape scene? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was for our what were you comedy seeing? show. <laughs> he had a high heel up his ass. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, I don't know how that feels. Mm -hmm. So you cu you couldn't uh, do any fuck scenes. But but you could do like those movies they show in the hotels or something where you just right. make believe that you're having sex. I call it Skinamax. Where yeah. the the guy is so far out of position you couldn't possibly be fucking. Absolutely. Can't the guys get closer? It's like, what's he fucking with his belly butt? To me, they look harder to do. I watched them shoot one time. I watched them do a double penetration and then I watched them shoot the soft core. And the soft core looked harder because you can't stick it in. And these guys were banging on her ass. It was like, it was like he was holding on and fucking, but his dick was just hanging out and it looked, it was... That could hurt, yeah. Oh my God, it was the most brutal thing I've ever seen. Like regular sex looking. Wow. Shoot. And it, then you gotta make yeah. sure it's hidden so yeah. you can't yeah. see the cock just... But then they're both touching penises, aren't they? Because you, you're not putting it in, you're hiding it. So well, they gotta I, I don't, be I don't think they care. Yeah, that, that, that's not homophobic. When you, you can get a rod in front of all those people and you're fucking a chick in the ass, you're homophobic, it goes out the window. Guys like fucking uh, the chick in the same uh, vag hole. Or in know? a mouth. Yeah, in a mouth. Two cocks. And you know, it's just two dicks rubbing up against each other. Mm. I don't care what the surroundings are. Uh, still two dicks but rubbing. But you're still hard rubbing against another all, dick. It's all a yeah. day's work so for these guys. It's a little you gay. You are not, yeah. It's a little gay. If that's you all me. I'm saying. It's a lot of gay, actually. They're very happy. I disagree. If you can, I couldn't do it. But if you're able to do that, like to fuck in front of a crew and nothing bothers you, well, you that's got a cock cool. in there? Yeah, me too. All right, hello. Yeah. We're talking talk about double penetration. The second yeah. your dick's touch, the second dick touches dick, you're you're in a whole nother territory. Jimmy. I agree. Doesn't matter. I would uh, yeah, for me, it would you. be the I same thing would happen. I can't. I I I've tried threesomes and I've had a few, but my dick always wilts. I just I don't like another dude in the room. It just kind of creeps me out. Um, I don't like, you know, a guy's wife where, when he was there. It was just like, yeah, it was too much. Ooh. Yeah. Who are your friends? I uh, meet lovely people. <laughs> all over the internet. But, um, you know, two in the mouth I could never do. Two in the mouth. So two what, the, the mouth? husband Wait a sits in a folding chair while you... One time, with this is when wife. I was like 18, I answered a lady's ad yeah. in the newspaper. I'll show you how long ago it was. And um, she called me back like a month later and she said, well, I was looking for, for straight guys. So I kind of put my ad as a single, but I have a husband. Now, he does not want to do anything with you. All he wants to do is watch. And I'm like, okay. So I fool around with them. Um, she's like 35 at the time. I'm like 19. And he looked like a pizza maker. He looked like Robert Duvall. He was balding. And um, <laughs> he just kind of shit. fucking, uh, <laughs> he just watched the whole thing. He didn't get involved. From like, he didn't chair. jerk off. He didn't jerk off at all. Then we went to the bedroom. Like I think this was like... What the fuck is that about? Well, maybe he couldn't get it up. That's the only way to... No, no, he wife. could. Man. We went in oh, there again. Oh, he, wanted to, he wanted to deep here. Um, Very what's that? Double penetration. Oh. Yeah. But I lost my rod. Um, like when she was blowing me and he was banging her, it was okay. But when he wanted me to put it in a pussy while he was in her ass, I just, I lost my rod. It was just too creepy. I couldn't do it. <laughs> Um, and then that was too creepy. creepy. Yeah, no, that, but him saying, sitting in a you. chair watching you. you fuck his wife <laughs> yeah. wasn't yeah. creepy. Yeah, Paco watches creepy. me, fucker. Um, wow. And then we 69, and she blew me. And it, I, this is the last time I saw them. I think I saw them twice because this, this second time is when like this actual sex happened. The first time she just blew me on the sofa. Ooh, Great so. sermon, Father. See you next Sunday. Um, <laughs> she, I'm fucking laying back, and she's on my face, and she's blowing me. And he was like down there watching, and I couldn't see what was going on. I don't oh. think he took a swipe, but I, I couldn't be sure. I was like, I gotta get took out of here. Took a wow. swipe? I don't think he did, but it I had to listen. You. He might no, have. I don't, I don't think so. I was just too creeped out. He I'm might like, have gotten up and. Fuck that. Yeah, I left. Wow. I, I didn't dump or anything. What did he. Oh, you didn't dump? You didn't? Because no. I was gonna say, no. what was his reaction when no, you no, dumped? No, no, I didn't dump at all. I think the first time I did was she blew me on the sofa. Oh, and then what was his reaction? I don't remember. It was, was it like, ooh. No, 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 no. It was never anything like that. He just wow. watched his wife blow me, and I was like, Bleh. too much, too personal, too creepy. Wow. This was before you were in show business at all? At all? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, I might have it been was still a pop. Yeah. Get in her, Lance. 
Yeah. <laughs> mm. I don't surf with a board like you. Do you get a lot of those offers now that you're like a celebrity? A lot of celebrities. But yeah, I, I get them. No, you're uh, a celebrity now. Uh, the girl who told me to shave, it happened on a threesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, that was a completely, that was uh, in Jersey. And, Another uh, guy or two yeah, girls? Yeah, but he was banging her while she Jesus. blew me. It was complete. That's the way it should be. No double penetration. Yeah, she blew me and she goes, There's an shave. etiquette. Yeah, to me, I just do, that's, <laughs> that's acceptable. Different. If you're over there and, and I'm here, different. that's fine. All right, let's say hi to wow. Jason in Florida. Jason. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, hey. Jason. Uh, you know, you guys missed something. Rebecca, you said that uh, you know after after four inches, you don't feel anything. That's why you had a five-inch cut on there? No. no. I didn't say I had a five-inch cut. I said by the last inch, you know, that's when I started bleeding or the inju injury happened. So you don't feel that last inch is what you're saying. You know what? So I just didn't feel it scrape. Oh, my oh, God. See, I was thinking when some of those guys the hope there. <laughs> well, there is hope because I think in the porn industry, guys are too big. I prefer an average, you know, six to seven inches. Cool. Nice. Yeah. You don't want Lexington? I prefer still? my heel. <laughs> How about Lexington? Oh, my God. Where am I going to put all that? I can't park a limo in my shed. Oh. Where would I put that? <laughs> yeah, that guy's packing, huh? shed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. George, yeah. I'm not saying I'm small, but, you know, there's only so much depth. I'd be given head at the same time. Oh. Yeah, he's a fucking animal. Limo do you have, in the shed. Do you have a large terrific. vaginal <laughs> I, I don't have, like, lengthwise. You'll bottom out. It's like getting kicked in the nuts. You'll bottom out with yeah. me. I actually have a code when I'm doing somebody um, on, on film. I pinch their inner thighs. So they know they're bottoming out. What does that mean, bottoming out? It, it means you're... You're hitting the back wall. Yeah, oh, and, it's like yeah. getting kicked in the oh, neck. Oh, really? In the womb. Yeah, it wow. hurts, it hurts. Oof. I'd love to get my leg pinched just once in my life. <laughs> <laughs> just one leg pinch is all I ask for. <laughs> <laughs> just pounding away, no pinching happening all I never, whatsoever. Oh, all I ever felt is two hands on my ass cheeks pulling me in harder, <laughs> just <laughs> begging for more cock than I can provide during, <laughs> is that it? Please, just God, the devil, hell, heaven. <laughs> just hoping for one lousy pinch. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, my God. My God. <laughs> well, we're running out of show because we got to get out of here right at 11 today because we got uh, a conference call. More so, shit. So what are we promoting? What are we doing? What well, do we got, Rebecca? Uh, Help us out. Why don't we do something uh, fun to end the show? We got uh, the Pal Talk cameras in front of you. People are checking you out on Pal Talk. Can we see you naked? Well, absolutely. I was waiting. Oh. Wow, what a lovely answer. Hold on. I've never actually heard that in studio before. I know. I've always conducted a the entire uh, interview Ooh. nude. I wish I could just walk out like you, Hefner, you know? Oh, my God. Just... Why get dressed? What, with a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. How is that stroke? Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> bye boy. Wow. Wow, we. Uh, there they are. I am dancing at Club Risque. Okay. Cool. okay. I can feel right? New Jersey, oh. Delaware, in Philadelphia, and where's the other one? It's in Bristol, uh, Burlington. There you go. Philly. Bristol and Philly. Wow. Um, at uh, RebeccaLove.com. And dancing at the Club Risque, which, uh, yeah, Philly Club. They're good yeah, friends of the show. Just go to clubrisque.net, and you'll get my schedule. Uh, those are real breasts? Well, I paid for them. Okay, they look like... No, go ahead, squeeze them. All right. Oh, they Jimmy will... Uh, there you go. Hard. Hard. Wow. <laughs> Well, don't pinch. Oh, I'm sorry. You said squeeze him hard. <laughs> Jim, what do I do? I don't Jimmy, know. Jimmy, I... punch him. Punch <laughs> no, him like fucking pinch. speed bags. I'm very nice with boys. <laughs> uh, the larger ones usually like them touch Yeah, softer. I can tell. I'm, no, I am. I sorry. started with a D, so Jesus. I just fixed a flat. Nice. Oh, you fixed the flat? I fixed the flat because they went D long. So yeah. I was like, Doc, what can you do? Yeah. Like, oh, put some bags That's in terrific. There. What about uh, titty fucking in the movies? Oh, my God. That's oh. my specialty. Whoa, whoa. Is, yeah. I thought so. Holy moly. There is... I told you about that one routine I did, right? Where... I flip them around. I let the guy lay over on top of me. Yeah. Uh-huh. I prop my head back with a pillow so I can lick their ass. They're, they're in between part, suck on their balls. At the same time, titty fuck, because I have a move in between. Right. right. Hold my hand there so it's a hand job, titty fuck. Oh, my God. Lick the ass. Dad's got to be proud of that one. Suck on the balls. That's, that's wow. Is not in my that's, cookbook. That's a good one. Yeah. All girls should be able to do that's that. That's a good You one. multitask. And yeah. you know what? They lose it in like two seconds. Yeah, that's very yeah. sexy. And they that. have, you know, they can eat me out at the same time if they want the extra. If they choose. Or why not? You're down there. Why not? You're, yeah. Hey, You're well face done. to face with it. What are you going to do? Talk? <laughs> you might as well. So anyway, that's... A titty fucking wow. is what I love to do. Yeah. And I like it when the guy actually lays on his back so I can hold it here and he holds my breasts 
So he gets that. Wait, can we get a prop or something? We don't to think. Maybe Wait the a minute. Water bottle or Balls. something. Here, here, give her the water bottle. Okay. Wait, water bottle. Well, the wiffle bat will do. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, yes, yeah, let's uh, see some of these moves so here. So the guy's laying down. Of course, it's a lot smaller than this. And um, he'll hold from the other side like here. Yeah. yeah. Someone give Mike her. Yeah, yeah we got a mic her. All right. So he'll hold. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm a helper. Where's that pal talk around? Jimmy's Why helping. Jimmy's Christ. Hey, we got to turn the pal talk around. Sorry. Sorry. All right, okay. so what? He'll be holding my boot, lay back. Okay. All right. Wait, maybe no. that's Jimmy's, yeah, okay. Schlong? I'm yeah. holding your breasts. And so I'll just go like this, and I'll put lube there so it'll move nice, and, and then I can grab the balls at the same time. Grab the balls, have the fingernails going, and then sometimes I slide my finger to their ass. And oh. Just, she's the greatest. Oh. I like I that. That. Is that an original move? Like, did you uh, patent that one? Not, probably the other one. I was hoping for a chip <laughs> tooth at least. <laughs> <laughs> a finger to the ass is uh, important. Do I feel? I, it? Yeah, I you like, like it. that. Do no. I smell an analogy coming? No. Oh, just no. A, a big thank you if it happens. And also, I wear like teeth guards, and that's even better. What? Well, because I have Invisaligns. See? What are those? We it's can't um, see because they're invisible. Yeah, it was, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know our cameraman from the movie Omega Man with Charlton Heston? <laughs> the, one of the bloodless vampires. Oh, oh, wow. wow. We never thought of that yeah. one for Sam. <laughs> so anyway, it goes. Sammy. Black or white? Uh, Sammy. Uh, yeah. We're trying to figure out what color he is. My dear old Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's the move? Because you got the, the guards, the teeth guards, The guards right? actually help because then you can use a little pressure with your teeth without oh, actually... Without it's nice teeth. and smooth. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. Why do you have them? What do they do? Uh, straighten my teeth. Right they're now. like braces. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're but like But they're braces. plastic, and then each one's a little different, and you shove I it in. I did notice she's got nice teeth when she yeah. walked Wow. Wow. <laughs> like to push you into a rock know everything. quarry. I, it's well, my job. Do. It's my job. That's how it works. Yeah. Very nice. And she could use that. It's almost like a, getting a gum job. Pretty much. It's exactly bit. what it's like. How about that? <laughs> 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 Damon, <laughs> Seattle. David. Good morning, everybody. Hey, David. Rebecca, I just want you to know that you completely made our day. There's four of us here who we're just glad you're not a size queen because when you said you just like your average six or seven inches, it just we all got chubbed up. Well, yay. So what's that total? Yay. Eleven times four? <laughs> yeah. Well, if you can handle all four, but... I guess guys like here and, you know. Hey, Their average uh, size, they like here, and that uh, mm -hmm. girl likes average size. I want to feel hey. it all the way inside me and those balls hitting the outside, you know? And it's not going to happen with something that's too long. With monster cock. Exactly. Yeah. There is too well, much. Well, thank you for e explaining it, Rebecca, because now I'm even happier. Well, yay. All right. Yay. Wait, wait. Listen, guys, if there's a yeah. chance, yeah. 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 Opie, I'm reminding you yeah. the last yeah. segment from NEW. Oh, yeah. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We forgot. We got distracted today. All right, David. Thank you. Take the gas All right. pipe. All right. Fuck. Let's say hi to Tommy in Brooklyn. Tommy. Hey. How are you guys? Rebecca, I want to ask you something that I know Jimmy uh, would, would want to ask. And that's, could you demonstrate this uh, with Jimmy? And Jimmy could report back to us so we know how, exactly how good it is. I'd be too nervous, sir. No. Uh, I just did. All right. <laughs> I'd be too nervous. Yeah, I, I meant the real thing. All right, the James. Thing. I tried. He's no, from I, Brooklyn. I, I can't with all these guys in the room. My penis would wilt like radiation was dumped onto no, it. <laughs> He's saying after the show, you you two go off. You two love. Oh, uh, like a private off. moment. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. I, I understand where you're coming from. Hold hands, lovebirds. <laughs> <laughs> Emil, Emil Sitka. Is that his name? Yep. All right. <laughs> that guy's from Brooklyn. Who's he with? <laughs> so so the that's it. Rebecca Love Clubrisque dot com. Yes. Dot net. I dot think net. it's dot oh, net. Dot but net. just Rebecca go to love dot com. Rebecca love dot com yeah. should have your schedule. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah. Very nice. Anything else there, Rebecca? Uh, Let me see uh, you. Any other what? moves? Or? No. I, there's really not much for me to talk about. I, nothing's exciting. Just uh, sticking a heel and uh, cutting yourself well, up. Well, you know, that's every day. little pit fucking. That was pretty good. Yeah. I think all in all it went well. Yeah. I, I mean, so. I have stories. You want to show Jimmy yeah. your ass? Oh, show my ass? Yeah, show Jimmy your ass. Jimmy's uh, an ass. I'm an ass. Wow. Oh, there you go. It's very nice. That's a nice tush. Really? Oh, it certainly is. I don't like it. Why? Problem? No, no. Okay. no I just, no. It's yeah. not my thing. No? No. So. Who's that? Oh, the camera. They oh. shut the camera off. Have a duty ass, uh, ass crack fucking? <laughs> Guy come on your back? 
Uh, yeah, I've yeah. had the cum on the back. And then the tit fuck. I've done anal. Come on, it's done. Oh, I've oh, done oh hey. I didn't know that. I just didn't do it in the movies. Oh. Just. That's monster cock going in there. I don't want to wear diapers so later on. Pers- okay, personal, okay. personal life. Personal life, You've honey. Oh, why do you okay. think I like five to six inches? Ah. It's a beautiful thing. But yes. I yes. love it. Of course. All right. Love it. Of course. It's good. Nothing wrong with that. No. And what's the site? <laughs> nice segue. RebeccaLove.com. Uh, yeah, RebeccaLove.com. <laughs> All right, Otto, you got Fantabulous. anything? Fabulous. We're ending the show. What, for her? Or her, you. Oh, oh no, what do you got? It's a fun oh, day. It's a fun day. Yeah, I'm going to time. go home and barbecue now. Otto had a you had a great appearance today, Otto, and we'll see you at the Absolutely. PNC Arts Center. Thanks, so. Can't wait. Thank you. August twenty sixth for the Opie and Anthony traveling virus. Tickets still on sale through Ticketmaster dot com. All right. Yep. And Thanks. Rebecca, I'm sure a lot of people will check you out at Club Risque. I hope so. I give one hell of a lap dance. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I don't dance. Ooh. You just grind on it. Oh, there's so much more than to just dance. And would you like to give Jimmy one? <laughs> Come on, Castella, give Jimmy a laugh. I can't. Hand. I can't give him a I mean, I don't dance. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Oh. No, I'm sorry. Did I? That, Did you do that? No, I have no idea. I do nothing. Hey, whatever. <laughs> I like that better than a dance, right? Mm-hmm. The dull, you know, <laughs> chick just laying her no, hair there, in your lap and then slapping her ass. Stop yeah, it. There's tricks to, like, you know, blowing hot air down there. They wear the shorts, the hand, you know. The hand might slip. So is that a, that's kind of a, a tip for the guys if they're out there. Wear some shorts to the strip club. <laughs> this is great. With, without underwear. That's a good tip. Bruno Kirby's dead, and this one's skanking it up in Philadelphia <laughs> on the weekend. <laughs> <sighs> that is, uh, I have no case handy, when it comes to handy, handy. Uh, I would like to get that's very nice. So let's say a guy has his shorts on. Now now now, now this is a hypothetical situation. Right. I'm just saying on some planet where this is completely allowed. Uh and and he's got a hard on and your hand slips up and you feel that. Would you leave it at that? Or would you maybe uh take care of business? Well here's the thing. Oh, My right. My lap dances, mm-hmm. I've never jerked anyone off. No. Huh? No, but there's tricks I do where they won't even last two songs. Really? You're like Yuri Geller? I, I'm, <laughs> <just> kinda, <laughs> I'm like, like You don't even have to jerk them off. You just kind of look at it, there's rub tricks. the side a little. and. I mean, you can rub Dick and all, bends. but there's no, re- I mean, you don't have to have their hand around it. Just talk really dirty. My boobs are down there and they like stroke up and down the, the shorts are great because it can actually rub and it's like wearing a condom, you know? I don't know. That's the last time I come to this friendly. <laughs> 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 Most guys like it, and they enjoy Every it. guy uh, jacking off has tried experimentation with certain things, and one of which was to see how little uh, you actually have to touch yourself to make yourself come. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You give that a whirl. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> Does yeah, it work? Growing up, you get bored with the same old just jacking, so you're yeah. like, let me see the minimal amount of stimulation, just mental. Yeah. I'll just use complete mental. Grandma. And, and believe me, by the end... Ugh. What? I, Ew. Yeah, what? I'm not saying hold out. Oh, I'm, I'm saying the only just one? using your... Oh. Oh, I'm the only one. You're the only one. Grandma. Right. Grandma. <laughs> and uh, no matter what, at the end, I mean, I'm cranking it like fucking Helen Keller at the water pump. Yeah. <laughs> I have... Hey, whoa, whoa. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> it never works. I need more stimulation than just talking or hot air. Well, there's a lot, a lot of things going on. There's a hair blower and a fucking tape recorder. If a that works. A hair bro- blower? Yeah, you know. That's a new meaning to blow job. <laughs> if hot, I mean, if hot air and dirty one. talk worked, but you know, you kind of need like touch. Need some cranking. God, your poor thing. It's gonna fall off. No, I'm not talking like that. <laughs> It's got a big it's not like, hog. It can like a it. taffy puller, yeah, or something. <laughs> just kind of, you know, needs I a little more to... stimulation than just a, a little yapping and maybe a brush on the side. No, it needs more than a brush. Yeah. My health won't allow it. <laughs> That's why they're called friction dances. Good evening, uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> Lady Trucker. What's up? Hey, uh, Dark has a prominent Woody. Would uh, Rebecca be willing to uh, do it with a dummy? 
<laughs> George has a wooden cock. <laughs> How big no, is a wooden? Gonna... Is he like Pinocchio? I'm hung like a kayak paddle. That's from my album, uh, Laugh.com. <laughs> 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 hmm. George fucked in a movie. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Nina really Hartley. Did. God damn, oh, I forgot really? about legend? that. Yeah, yeah. George, yeah. George fucked, uh, yeah. She's a legend. Yeah. She is. Legendary cum catcher. I made out with her in the same film. Yeah. After the blowjob? Yeah, after. After yeah. he fucked wow. her. After George fucked her, I kissed her. We all Wow. Laughed. Yeah. You sucked this cock. Your fucking yeah. cock's bigger than yours. <laughs> Just that fat pig wooden pull. puppet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, well. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm, I'm sorry about the high heel injury. You're, you're a sweet girl. Honey, I don't even care. You yeah. could have made fun of me this whole show. It, it's not going to hurt me. I do porn for a living. You think I care what people Put think? Up. It's true. Mm -hmm. How did a guy get on a plane with a <laughs> screwdriver, Vaseline. Vaseline, and matches? Yeah. A note referencing Al-Qaeda. And a note referencing Al-Qaeda. <laughs> this guy wants During to During the heaviest security. You right. did? Like going on. What? No, this guy. This no, is called, the guy on TV. This is called the news. <laughs> this is. And, it, <laughs> See, this is and they're the saying other? that there was a plane diverted to Boston, um, and the guy oh, passenger had Vaseline, a screwdriver, mm -hmm. matches, and a note referencing Al Qaeda. He's one of two yeah, things. You, you know crazy? what it is? They, uh, everybody yeah. that works at the airport in any screening capacity should have to fly with you. They're not getting on the fucking oh, plane. Oh, that's a good idea. What do they give a shit who gets Last on the fucking plane? On, you. The oh, yeah. Check. Then, then they'll check every fucking person that gets on the plane because they're not flying. What do they care? They don't care. Fucking, they don't, I don't care. nailed it. How did this asshole get on the plane with fucking Vaseline, which bottom. is a no-no, and a screwdriver? He might be crazy, or he's doing it just to see if what security gets. How did he gets. get on? Well, that's the point, but I, well, he I might, guarantee he's not he a terrorist. He might have been a test, right? He's not yeah. a terrorist. I don't think he's a terrorist either. This sounds kind of kooky. No one has a note. Yeah, I think he was testing the waters. You don't blow the plane up if you're going to have a note. You can have what are you going to do, blow it up and hope the note floats somewhere where they find it? Aw, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. He's a t he's just cr a crazy person who wants attention, or he really wants to see the you Some kind of a crazy person. What does Rebecca <laughs> think of the whole terrorist thing? Yeah, what do you think? Bullshit. Yeah. You know it's what? Bullshit. I think the yeah. liquid thing, I think all that, uh -oh. it doesn't matter. If they really want to bomb, they're going to get a you know a different way of doing yeah. it. Uh, so, so what are we going to do? Is the second we stop traveling or having fun, uh, they win. I say, I, that's I, what I say. I, I agree with you. Uh, I'm sure. I say we ban breast implants. Hey. Yeah, I am carrying uh, liquid on board. Well, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> George, you get that one? Israeli commandos are hot. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, she's got liquid, so. George yep. has the implants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, yeah, they're going to bomb us anyway. Yeah. They're going to do what? It, history repeats itself, so there's nothing you can do. If it's your time. It's That's your why my time. teacher flunked me twice. I'm, yeah. waiting, I'm waiting for 1939 to come back around. <laughs> yeah, any scheduling on when history is repeating itself? How did itself? you feel when Nipsey Russell passed away? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Nipsey Russell. <laughs> Nipsey was terrific. He's an old porn star. I, I thought yeah. you would know your your porn history. Nipsey Russell. How old am I? God. But you, you'd shove porn it in your history? ass and tell a rhyme. Yeah, but like we know like the older guys in radio and stuff. Crap, yes. I don't even watch porn. Nipsey let alone. Russell no. was a legend in the biz. Yeah. Yeah. No, Known for his hog. And Scatman Crothers was another one. Yeah. I can yeah. imagine what he did. Tremendous he did a move cut. called The Shine. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. You ever hear the move? No. The move was terrific. No. Yeah, it's great. Girls would come. They'd look like they got an axe in the chest. They'd be, like, moving around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd really? be amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Give you a tour to pantry. Yeah. yeah. Have everything. Dick was as big as a roast, a <laughs> ham. Yeah. You like ham, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, he wanted to put it in your ass, but I guess you're not supposed to. Yeah. He got accused one time of jerking off on the set. Which was like a famous moment. He goes, ain't nobody jerking off, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you got your current flakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody jerking off, motherfucker. It's a great one flick, man. Yeah. It was terrific. I missed it. Yeah, it was a good one. Little scat man. <laughs> All right, well. Is that it? Yeah. Jesus. Look at this shit. I knew it. What? What'd you do? We, well, you made us go uh, late, but, you know. I got we sorry. couldn't help ourselves. <laughs> we actually couldn't. We have uh, a conference call we have to do. Yeah. Ugh. Sure you don't want to run over? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, I tell you, yeah. they could be boring. 
<laughs> well, thank you for coming. S C U M, right? Mm, yeah. That's how that's how coming is spelt on any one <laughs> thing or anything. I yeah. was and I still chuckle. Yeah. Coming. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. <sighs> it was think. a pleasure. Oh, pleasure. Rebecca Love.com. There you go. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> What? How do you fucking end a show like this? <laughs> That's just it, you don't. <laughs> she was very badly raped, you see. <laughs> By the doll. No, she's dead. <laughs> no, my health doesn't allow it. <laughs> allow it. I'm glad to see you enjoy good wine. Try the wine. <laughs> That's he's already pouring What it. is that from? That's uh, a great Another porn, porn flick. Yeah. That's a porno? Yeah. Oh, that's from weird. Nipsey Russell Does Match Game. <laughs> <laughs> now he's joking, obviously, you know. But yeah. No, it's a it's a famous porno. He I don't know the name. He walks in the door with a huge cock and he says, Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> some big guy's carrying him and fucking him in the ass. It's yeah. kind of some of that uh, comedy porn. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen the musical? No, no. Oh, my God. It's like clown porn stuff. Yeah. The guy's like has a clown face and a big cock and walks in and says, Good evening. Everyone yeah. laughs and then, then he fucks away. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So. I fantasize about clowns all the time. Big ceramic dildo. Yeah. All right. Dirty Simka. Naughty, naughty. You filthy old Simka. Filthy you old Simka. little bastard. <laughs> you wretched <laughs> bedbug. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got to get the fuck out of here. Come on. <sighs> okay. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> oh, that was the name of the movie, Danny? I forgot about that. What? Yeah, it was uh, called uh, a Cockwork Orange. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, a parody. <laughs> nice. Yep. Yeah. Oh, of what? Come on now. Of course. No, I. What? You stop. Don't even go there. I know you know. So. I not don't know. I don't know movies that not much. Not playing the game. I don't know movies that much. Mm. What? I know things like. You know about the original Pete movie and stuff. <laughs> is that a parody or something? Because I really. Obviously, that clip is from Clockwork Orange. Is it? Yes. Because they, they tell me it was cockwork orange. Yeah, I'm sure Danny. Did. Fucking Danny. I'm sure Danny. it was a cockbuster. Never saw it. There's an original. What's it about? Mm. I, uh, well, I don't know what it's about because I really have never watched it. No. Uh-huh. Mm. All right. Uh, what's your website? What's your website? <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca Love. Rebecca Love. Rebecca Love. All right. Okay. Remember to listen to Johnny Stone in the morning. <laughs> Star 99.1 That's Stacy Stone, Johnny Stone, Don Wheeler And uh, David uh, Dean Very good Jesus H. Christ That's what I'm chatting about Okay Are we doing something? Like trying to figure out uh... Yeah uh-huh. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. <laughs> What the fuck? Good <laughs> They ended the show ten minutes ago. We're we're just yeah. yeah. Yay! Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're just fucking with you. Yeah, it's been bullshitting. Yeah. Why would you do that? Uh, it's a little joke we like to play on some yeah, of the kids. you know. <laughs> it was so funny. We just fuck around like that. I gotta. You know, I met you guys like a long time ago in Texas. In Texas. Texas. When you guys were in Dallas. Jesus, really? I don't even remember being in Texas. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Wow. All right. Cool. So you'll take care of Jimmy now, I guess, now that we're off the air? Oh, I wish I could. Uh, stop that, cock. Unfortunately, I don't do boy-girl anymore. We'll just take a picture No, it's together. all girl-girl. I started dating somebody new. And oh, yeah? Yeah, kind of. Doesn't like uh, you fucking anybody. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't like to share. I don't, Come on, I don't miss, really let's like just, to date civilians, but... Let's just take a picture. Civilians, yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll uh, that was the right pick, Rebecca. Thanks. Thank you. There's a little picture Jimmy's uh, taken. That's great. Oh, no, uh, that's right. I want to the boobs out. Nah, no, that's right. Cold, All right. Well, that was a good show today. Yeah, it was fun. Got a meeting or a phone call or something, right? With uh, WISP? Uh, I think that's it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Rebecca. Yeah, we'll see, see you later. later Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. Got to have a little meeting. How you doing there, Iraq? All right. Holding up? Yeah. Bye. Bye, Rebecca. Bye. Right. That was good. 
Ryan, communique from Ryan, Ryan Mill. Oh, I'm getting barraged from listeners that tell me you guys mentioned that you were being pulled off, pulled off in Pittsburgh on Monday. <laughs> I know this was a joke. But the <laughs> listeners and my staff are freaked. Please mention it was a joke on the air to calm everyone down. Why? <laughs> Thanks. The show is great. That's hysterical. And the TV spots are hilarious. Love Anthony's dress rant in the bloopers. The bloopers are up too now. Are they? No idea. The TV commercial is up on OpenMethy.com. But uh, yeah, Pittsburgh is getting this radio station is getting killed right now by the pest. That's funny. Uh, we'll keep that gag going tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> why not? Make sure we do it on the other side. Um, I think they're ready for us. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. All right. Let's get out of here.